chicken like one, dolomite. Two, three, Last one got copyright. I'm kicking like dolomite. Five, sure. Hey, one time, Last you ready? Got copyright. Yeah. Last one got Fuck. copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon, Will. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe. Yeah, for real. And when it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass a halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. And ain't no capping around here. Cause like Bond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's we'll like between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Weapon Look. 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 King of the castle, like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey, yo, Alex, go ahead. Talk to him real quick. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game's so tight, it's like Jordan one late. We, we stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Coco Long Sing was cute, hey, and yeah, it served its purpose. But I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these niggas before it get bland. I see a lot of pods in the format like that, but damn. You hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak dissing, that's that stuff that get you banned. Last time we told your ass to squad up, you turned telling right go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get in. You just got 30 niggas, heard me, the time is up. Since 2015, we've been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Dust your boots. Hey. 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 Developers, Dust developers, developers. Like Dolomite, hey, 40 clips aimed at your fit beam. Shotty, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice. Die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip anytime you niggas wanna fight. Body guns and body counts, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say, what they say, huh? Hey, hey, what I say, hey, I put them in the dirt. Toss to get hurt, no face, no case. Matched up like a Jiggy merch shirt. Sliding in that vet, I'm gonna get back. Time to pay that debt. It's time for weapon wheel. Yo, mic check, mic check. Let me know if y'all hear me good. Let me know if y'all can hear me well. We are here. How y'all doing out there on this fine Sunday? Is it a fine Sunday? I don't know. I think it's an average Sunday. I think it's okay. I right, audio good, audio good. Tremendous, fabulous, magnificent. We good out here. Old man Logan, you there? Oh, what's up? How's it going? Yo, what's good, man? How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm enjoying. I got a little break from work, so it's my last day off. I got to head back tomorrow. Hey, I feel you, man. Oh, you, you know, nice little Sunday. Sundays before you got to go back to work. It could, it could be depressing low key. <laughs> well, I had a I had almost about two weeks off. So, yeah, today's a little okay. bit of a downer, but but I'm here. I'm ready. 
happy to be here, obviously. Yeah. It's like S- Saturday is always the sweet spot, but especially when you like, you know, when you was in school. Oh, man. That, when that Sunday night came around, like around eight o'clock, ooh, that depression start to hit in like, oh, I really got to go to this damn school again. That depression hit hard. Um, shout out to uh, all my podcast members um, who know the podcast starts at 545. Um, but these nigglets don't be here at 545. Uh, you know, I pay. I, I just want. I just want y'all to know. I pay these these niggas well. I I, I just want y'all to know that I, I pay these niggas really well. Like I'm 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 not even capping. I like I, I listen. I shout out to all the weapon wheel viewers, right? The weapon wheel viewers, but really, the the Patreon supporters, the Patreon supporters. I know the number isn't public of how much, you know, of what exactly the total numbers are. But, bro, these, these niggas getting paid well. Y'all been supporting. OK, I think we have like, you know, it goes up and down, but it's around 300. I think I think it's around 300, 300, 300 subscribers, not, you know, three hundred dollars. It's around 300 subscribers, uh, you know, fluctuates up and down. But these niggas be getting money. OK, as y'all know, I don't I don't take none of it. So. I don't. I don't get a cut out of none of that. You know, I want. I want these boys to be eating well. Oh, you don't pull the Kofi on them. Uh, what did Kofi do? I ain't gonna bring it up. Oh, you talking about uh, Erica? You talking about that? Yeah, man. Yeah. Man. Oh. Y'all being messy already, guys. Must be a slow news day. Jesus. Nah, you know. Uh, you know. Y'all being messy already. Nah. Jeez. Why? Why? Why is Bond not here after getting drunk last? Uh, Last week and, and, and talking about he smashing right, some well, snow bunnies. Well, Blandrew not here again? Shocker, BG. Shocker. Well, Blandrew, you know some Blandrew, I, Blandrew, I know. But, uh, Jack Moo coming through in the. Cl- oh, man. That's crazy. It's almost happened. like crazy. Uh, I need, yeah, I need, I need, I need, need. Right there. Okay, they go Bond. Where, where's Smooth? Yeah, Smooth. Smooth be on time for Xbox, po- Xbox podcast. I'll be seeing it. I'll be, I'll be seeing it. Shit is crazy. You know, putting together furniture. I figured the rap was still going. I pop in into the rap. Hey man. Hey, 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 Attic. Um, you, you actually, uh, I was actually hoping you came in here. What is that? When, when you invite Smooth to, uh, um, like ILP, like you know, yeah. I, hold on. He said there's a show today. <laughs> Yeah, like when you invite Smooth to like ILP, I think it was like last week or the week before. Did he show up on time? No, he was like, "Damn, I was I, ooh, I wanted to put a put a hole in this nigga. I wanted to drill it." Huh? What? Oh, she Just wanted to drill it. What that mean? What is this shit you ever what said? What in the world wow. that mean? I said put a hole Hold in on, him. Look my Instagram replay on. Let me just say yeah, that. What is this, hey, shitty, hey, what is this oh, shitty ass oh. game on the screen right now? Uh, Bond is so just a hater. Too. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, like so calm too, I'm not. I'm not falling for that bait. But, but so smooth just late for everybody podcast, even when it's an Xbox podcast. He even late for his own, to be honest. To oh be wow. Fair, that you, know, you know what's sad about SoCom too? Halo Nothing. Halo used to be good back then. Look where we're at now. Mm. Damn. New Bond was gonna find a way to bring up Halo. You heard the uh, on it, didn't you? Yeah. What you was going to say, Attic? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. To be fair, that during that particular podcast, he was coming from like a like a family event or something like that. Mm. Is this an appropriate time to say fuck family? Can I say that? If you want to. I mean, ain't nobody going to mm-hmm. stop you, brother. Oh, okay. Well, Stop. Unless somebody died, you know, I, th- I think it's okay to say fuck family. Mm. I think I could say that without feeling bad, right? Yeah, right, BG. I seen that Chris Ben Washington you tweeted, BG, you going to hell, nigga. Yeah. Hey, man. It was just a little. Listen, if other niggas out here could, you know, pretend that they don't know that shit is wrong to say, I could do it too. You know, I had no idea. My bad. I, you know, I thought, I thought Chris. It was a little jokey joke. What they say, I was trolling. Hey, man, I could get away with it too. You know, 
and niggas niggas done done worse. I could just say I I, I thought I thought uh, Chris Bedwa was the you know the president of the family club meetings. Well, no, no, and damn well he not. <laughs> you don't want to dance. So hold on, uh, hold no. on. I, no. I've been missing all this drama because I stopped really checking Twitter a whole lot. What's going on with this catfishing situation? I know someone got the scoop. Oh, someone got the, the, oh, the, the, the catfishing left and right. No, I actually don't know who that person is that they was talking about. Do honest. we really want to start with that? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know who that was. But, I wasn't uh, aware of it. I'm gonna be real with you, brother. I just because like we got, we got we got catfishing and, and race fishing. Mm-hmm. Is that a term? Race fishing. It is race now. fishing. I, all I know is anybody who follow these follows these people are. I don't know. Like, I, I question your your judgment because I ain't gonna lie. I could see through a lot of these fake dudes. I never really? like all these people that get exposed. I never never followed them because I'm like, yep, really? don't trust that one. So you're, you're gonna we're all the, already in July. They're gonna attack the irregular community already. Huh? Are they even irregular or are they just weirdos? I mean, if somebody can identify as a different gender or sex than what they already are, why can't he be Japanese? Hey, man. You, well, you, no, you, you do have a, some trans, of a point. That's, that's a legitimate Transracial. question. Why is everybody hating on him for being somebody he's not when we have whole communities that exist? You know, it's crazy. We're gonna people are gonna start gate uh, gatekeeping, asking for pictures of like with, with certain fingers pointed off. We gotta make sure you authentic. Oh, we can't uh, even get we can't even get people to do trophies. I'm not mad at asking for somebody's birth certificate. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Hey man, they they tried to do it to Obama. Okay, we can we can we can do it to others some other people. I, I'm not against that. Oh, I you... just I just see. Here's the thing: like, I don't really follow a lot of those like those those accounts that do that fuck shit like that. So like, it never really bothers me because I'm never following them or anything like that anyway. So fuck shit, what you talking about? Apparently, that like they they be trying to like pretend to be chicks and like do OnlyFans and. Like it's some crazy stuff going on there on these Twitter streets right now. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, spend too much time on this. I do want to start the podcast, but but Wonton, I just want to say you're insane for that take. Um, what are you, what are you talking about, bro? Like your 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 movie takes are bad. They are objectively That's not bad. True. I have great movie takes. <sighs> they are objectively bad. Wonton's also feel like I've seen. I also feel like I've seen. Uh, more movies than you this year, sir. What was his take? He he said Thor, uh, Love and Thunder was a was a good was like good and even better than Doctor Strange two. Then Hate and Lightning. I actually that, didn't like. It. I actually have to agree with him on that. The, the, like, the, I, I don't the, think thank, it was thank you, better, Adam. but I don't think I don't think it was worse either. Like I didn't like Doctor Strange to be honest with you. Maybe the the first half of Love and Thunder might be the worst first half to any Marvel movie ever made, ever. Damn. Mm. I'm not even capping. It's it might be the first worst. Like the the second half of that movie is good to even better, you know, above good. But the first half, okay, you listen, if you say if you take away save the first 10 minutes of that movie, the next yeah. 35 40 minutes might be the worst 40 minutes like you've ever seen in any Marvel movie. It's bad, bro. It's this bad. the thing though, right? The movie has its flaws. I ain't saying it's an amazing movie. I Ragnarok is way better than this movie to me. But the thing about it, even with some of the shit in this new movie, like the goats and the, the jokes and shit, um, I feel like the action in, in the villain makes up for it. it it's really good. He Christian Bale is amazing yeah, as, as Gore. Fire. And he I'm had... Sorry. Christian Bale was good, but his character was bad. They didn't play him enough. I, I didn't feel like... I, by the time I started liking him on screen, he was off screen. Yeah, 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 which is their fault. They didn't give enough um, him enough screen time when Gore has amazing, amazing motivations. You could, you could honestly say Gore's motivations are much better than Thanos's. And they, you know, and he's a look how much screen yeah, time he got as a main, as a big bad. Yeah, I mean, like all Thanos was was a fast food employee. He said too many y'all niggas trying to get chicken sandwiches. We don't got enough chicken sandwiches, so half y'all gotta go. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe Gore is an actual villain. I I don't think Gore's a villain. I'm. Be, he's not. I mean, yeah, his motivation makes sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you look at it, when 
that incident where they went with a lot of them, if you know what I'm talking about, they're all pieces of shit. So, like... <laughs> yeah. I won a Marvel movie with a fast food employee. Because these fast food dudes, they don't be losing. True. Yeah, if 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 you're a fan of Kratos... You can't think Gore is a bad is a bad guy. That's actually a fact. You can't like Kratos and not and not think like. Yeah, Kratos. Said, yeah, it's similar. That's that's they're just they're the same character. Yeah, they so, are. I, I do think Kratos was done better though. Of course, because you know that's just over a. They had more time a, a, to build yeah, him up. Seven games, like yeah. you know, Gore, if Gore had more screen time, you know that that solves everything. But no, they you know they did what they did with him. So tragic. Very sad. Um and you know Black Panther 2 about to be ass. That's coming out oh, next. Man, I don't Yeah, listen, if if what's his name could actually somehow make this movie good when not actually having a Black Panther even though Sherry will probably become back Black Panther still. That's not that's not that she's not it. You know what I'm saying? She's she's not yeah. it. If you can do this without Chad Chadwick and actually make it a good movie, that man is amazing. I don't see how any director could pull this off. I don't. I just don't see it. You know, because... People are already mad because they changed Namor's background in the movie. Oh, what is it? He a nigga that can't swim? So, he instead of being from Atlantis, he's from, like, fucking... He's like an Aztec god or some shit. Oh. So, he's from the, it, he's a, he's from the desert instead of the ocean. He yeah, it's like well, it's like that area, like Central America. He's from there, and he's played by a Mexican actor. Oh my god! Well, Man. that does make sense that the first mutant would be Mexican. <laughs> huh? Oh man, I see what you're <laughs> I see what you're saying. I see what do you're saying. Really? Anyway, I, I do. Um. Anyway, and they had uh that one Mexican chick. Her on uh, Doctor Strange. Her powers were crossing borders and shit. Oh my God! Only Bond would see it that way. This is wild. I mean, wow, y'all, my, wow. y'all didn't think of anything that had a Mexican girl that was able to cross borders in the different realities. Y'all didn't think about that. Uh, no, no, not really. I mean, <laughs> and it's the only one that can do it that well. <laughs> yeah, even even Scarlet Witch had to do some crazy shit to cross uh, to cross dimensions. Like, <laughs> he was like, yeah. "We've been doing this. Don't worry, they got they got um." The Prowl are going to be in there soon, Robin Banks. <laughs> wow. All right, let's get the podcast started. This isn't a movie podcast, but I had to tell off uh, Wonton. Um, I look forward to your other, other crazy takes that are horrible. Yes, sir. All right. All right, this is Weapon Wheel Podcast, episode um, 328. Who just came in here? Oh, smooth. Um, yeah, episode 328. We're on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, all your favorite audio live streaming platforms. If you want to support Whip and Will Podcasts, then you could do so by supporting the Patreon or hitting the join button on, uh, you know, and becoming a member. That will give you access to the Discord and also supporting the Patreon will give, give you access uh, to the After Darks, which are hours more entertainment um, that are uploaded on Mondays. And uh, we answer all your questions um, that you submit on on Patreon. So yeah, you should check out if you haven't. Listen, I highly recommend you just subscribe one time. You know, check out the After Dark. If because I know some of y'all haven't actually listened to an After Dark. Them joints be heat. Y'all gotta and you get the whole back catalog too. So you know, subscribe one time. Get your little you know, put in your little how, six dollars. How, how, how many Patreon episodes are there now? I don't know. Probably a lot, a, like, a lot at all, this point. Think of, think of all the bond tales y'all missing. Oh, bro. Is that a selling point? It can be. Okay. Well, yeah. It's six. You know, you got to subscribe to the $6 tier one time. You get mad hours of entertainment. So, yeah, y'all go ahead and do that. We appreciate your support. Hit the like button. And if you want to submit a video to be featured during Weapon Wheel Podcast, um, just click the link in the description. You know, drag and drop your gameplay in there. And, uh, yeah, it's that simple. All right, let's do these intros. Bond. Go on, everybody. Hanging out, building some furniture, summertime. Hope everybody's having a good day. Is, is Blandrew part of this podcast? Uh, Blandrew is on hiatus, sir. You know that. I'm, I'm just saying. It's like a permanent hiatus, or what, yeah. what's going on? Uh, it's, it's when he decides 
he wants to come back. Until then, don't think of he's him as a main member. He's honorary member right now. I was talking. Andrew, talking Andrew Andrew getting bitches right now, though. He getting bitches. That's all. You're getting in the gym, I hear. Yeah, man, getting them bitches out there. Jack, where are you at? Living my life, dog. Shout out like to Blanche. For how long? <laughs> who knows? That shit, who knows? <laughs> That's why you need to get your ass in the gym. I'll think about it. Oh, man. You'll end up like Zion Williams without the money. <laughs> without the NBA contract. Okay, fuck. Mm. All right. Jack. What's good, everybody? What's popping? All right. Smooth. What's up, everybody? It's the best spot. How y'all doing? Better than Halo. Oh, man. Logan. Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? All right. Um, Wonton. Why are you in here? I invite you. What the hell? That's not nice, man. Hey, man. I'm an honorary member, man. What can I say, man? That don't mean you can just jump in when you want. <laughs> I think you do. Oh God! No, right. More dependable than Blanchard. Right. I'll, I'll let you stay in here unless I unless I you know change my mind about you a little bit later on in the podcast. Then I'll just kick you out. All right, man. Uh, I'm glad to be here, man. Jazzy, what's up, y'all? The in case of emergency Nintendo fan here. What's pop? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's so, like that. Hey, man. Right, we, I, can't, we can't get Shokyo. We can't get Blanchard. We can't get nobody to come on the Nintendo side. You know what I think we need to do? I hate to say this might go against our code. We might just need to bring in a white person for Nintendo. Oh, no. oh God. I'm, I'm no. being dead oh, ass. GT, oh, man. Help, help wanted ad out there. Yes, yeah, no, sir. <laughs> um, must, be, must have hair and must not be black to represent Nintendo. Otherwise, in fact, we might need like some employment references to make sure like you're on time and shit. Like, uh, you know, attendance. It's not, you know, I'm not, obviously I'm not against having, that sounds crazy to say, like, you know, this, it sounds like a black person telling, you know, it's like, it sounds like a white person saying, no, I don't mind, I don't mind niggas. Um, that's what it sounds like. But no, I, I don't, of course I don't mind white, a white person being on, right? Of course uh-huh. not. It's, it's, <laughs> just Jack, stop playing. It's, it's not, it's not the color. It's the synergy and the personality of the person, you know, because, mm-hmm. because Weapon Wheel is not like you know most of the podcasts. You know, you, you if you come on here, you got to be with the shits. So you know, we just need somebody with with equal energy who's definitely gonna like talk shit. You know, and you know, just mirror our same energy. That's all. If you know a white person like that, send them our way. Cool. They're probably from Brooklyn. Oh, they shit, might be. Uh, they they might be. Um, and yeah, they would definitely be welcome on here. Uh, oh. all right. They said the stream is buffering. This is the stream buffering is, for anybody else? No, this game is buffering. This is trash. Yeah. <laughs> got people up here victory dance like it's Fortnite. Oh. Um, yeah, SOCOM was one of the originals to do that, by the way. What do you All mean, right. Smooth? Uh, Ho- hopefully mean? nothing. Uh, I just finished up. This ain't Planet just- Xbox, sir. Oh, oh, you be eating some meals on Planet Xbox. You be going crazy. <laughs> hey, yo, he was I, eating Thanksgiving. Yeah, I listen. Yeah. I listened to that. I didn't realize it was like that, bro. It was like, that shit was loud. First of all, mute your mic. Pause. <laughs> we could literally hear in your esophagus, sir. Yeah. We could man. hear inside of that joint. I like this is disgusting. My bad, yo. I did not realize it was that bad, yo. Uh, I do have one thing to say before we start the uh, podcast. Smooth. Yo, what's up? Now that God of War has a release date, put a Metacritic bet. God of War is scoring higher. Than Starfield. <laughs> Did we, we won't have a bet on that, right? You gotta, we don't you have one wait. yet. No, I don't you want to wait. wait You're gonna have to wait a whole year to figure that out. No, other games are coming out this fall, aren't they? No, no not Starfield. Starfield got delayed. Oh yeah. shit! And, and Starfield don't even have a definitive 2023 date. It oh, just said 2023. Yeah, that reminds me. We'll take that back. For some reason, I thought Starfield was coming out this fall. No, it was sir. supposed to. <laughs> Where yeah, have you been, bud? It got delayed. Yeah, yeah, it got I delayed know. with Redfall. I mean, so they they just show off a game just to delay. It. Makes sense. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. First topic we hit in. Um. So Halo veteran Ball Berto- Paul Bertone uh, joins three. 
Bertone. <laughs> Paul wow. Bertone uh, joins 343 Industries. Uh, he's coming from Bungie, I believe. You know, uh, the uh, you know the developer that most people think made the best Halo. So he's coming over um, to 343. Uh, I forgot his official title. It's technical something, but you know he's coming over to, to help um, Joseph. You know, try to I guess get the get the train back in line and everything because you know 343 is a bit of a mess smooth i'm gonna go to you is is paul bertone i'm gonna I'm look up his uh history it, d does this make a difference is this gonna help no wow. i have to okay. start from the top like jo joseph Stratton, um uh, stratton you know what i mean he's as, as original you're gonna get um you know what i mean so anybody from bungie i don't think anybody from bungie is really gonna I'll make a difference because at the end of the day, um, you need, I think you need like new blood, like people, I think you just need talented new blood. But the thing is, is that I want them for something different. I think Halo Infinite, it is what it is, even though I, you know, I'm still playing the game. Um, but as far as, I don't know, hiring him, you know what I mean? Maybe he just missed working on Halo, or whatever. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. You know what I mean? I don't think this is like any in the grand scheme of things, like the biggest news ever. Like, I don't think it makes a difference um, this higher at all. In my, in my okay. Opinion. Just I mean, to give more context, was... he hasn't been at Bungie. He was at Bungie way, way back in the day. Uh, he's a, a former Bungie um, director. Uh, he's gonna be the technical uh, design. Uh, director. He worked on Bungie's five Halo games before leaving the studio, ahead of the uh, of its work on Destiny. But mm -hmm. so now he's returning to Halo. So yeah, that's a little bit of a uh, history on him. This so. shit is over. This is like bringing Phil Jackson back to the mix. Now, I like <laughs> if they get rid of if they if they switch out uh, Bonnie Ross, and I'm like, all right, they're on to something. Mm. So you think Bonnie Ross is the problem? Yeah. Okay. That, that whoever, if Bonnie Ross, Frank O'Connor, I think they're the um, issues that they kind of have to like swap out. Because the thing is, is that when you think about it, 343, even though it was started by, you know, core people that was from Bungie, right? There was like, you know, like a, a core team that was, um, that was able that, I guess that, you know, that work on the game, obviously they have some experience and whatnot, but 34 they were initially trying to shop out like Halo to like different studios like uh I think they went to I think they asked Raven I think was going to do it and then the team that was going to do brothers that did brothers in arms they were going to have do it and before they went internally and did it but the thing is is now that it's all starting to make sense you have this core people right and then everybody else is contractors so I don't even think 343 and you know somebody can correct me if I'm wrong is full of like core members that are good at developing games. They're just, you know, they're just good as pillars. Like, oh, we've been here from day one, but everybody else that they got, you know, working on the game are just, you know, temporary uh, workers. And it's the 343 is probably not comparable to like a coalition or to like a, a, a sucker punch or anything of a studio that just, there's, this is the hey. studio and this is a team of all the developers working on these games where 343 is like, all right, this is 343, these are the heads, these are the known people, and then everybody else is just contractors, mm. right? You know what they should do? This is gonna sound wild, but we would never th would have thought we would have seen Crash exclusively on Xbox. I think fucking Microsoft should just go to Sony, like, how much? <laughs> to what, to make Halo? Yeah, sell Halo to Sony, <laughs> how much? Y'all got oh. Bungie, how much? Or that's true. Or mm, that, no, that was to be the most insane like news story to ever drop in like gaming we, history. We, Microsoft we, selling Halo to to play, to Sony. Yeah, we need to recoup all this mm. money we spent on Bethesda and all these other developers. How much you willing to pay for it? Hey man, they, <laughs> but they got a they got a ten year plan with Halo, dog. Oh, God. Can't abandon that. It ain't working out, cuz. Because listen, you should I, like. It, it would be so funny for that to happen. That would be like bad for their reputation. Um, it, you know, Halo going down with the ship would be better for them than selling it to somebody else. Because that would yeah. be you admitting yeah. that would be you admitting like, yeah, we couldn't make a good Halo. 
after we didn't have Bungie. And no, they would not want to admit that. That would be bad. No, I agree. I agree. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't approve of that. Like, well, yeah. like as if I if it matters to me, but I, I would not approve of them like selling Halo to. I just rather you not make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I mean? It's like I'm I'm still bracing myself for when you know Sony announces Sunset Overdrive too, right? You know what I mean? It, it, you know, a good Alan Wake wasn't that big of a deal for it to release on PlayStation, but it's like if you do that with Halo, it's just like yeah. Yeah, no, that's not a good look. I will put it this way. Attic. He's not in here. If uh, well, Bungie wanted to make Halo and Sony was willing to buy it as a Halo fan, would you rather see Sony and Bungie continue the series or 343 and Microsoft? If it came down to an hypothetical world. Man, I, I, would, I would think uh, people, you know, the actual fans in their heart, they would be like, they were in the fourth to know. Yeah, but that, but that's their pride, right? They in their heart, they would be like, I just want it to be in Bungie's hand, no matter who owns Bungie. But their pride is gonna be like, just kill it. Yep. I can't blame. Him. Yeah. I mean, like that that would be hard for a lot of people to, you know, just just swallow. Imagine like that's like. PlayStation hey, gee, being what like, what's going on with you today? You drilling holes in people, hard to swat out. Like, what? Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> sir. You, you, anyway, that would be a hard pill for them to swallow because that would be like Sony being like, you know, Sony suddenly just can't make a good uh, Last of Us game or God of War game, and be like, you know what? We can't make it. Well, uh, it let's it, sell it, it to it, Microsoft it, or something. If uh, Microsoft were to somehow own Naughty Dog, yeah. I would rather I, Naughty I would Dog. I would want them to make none of Naughty Dog's notorious games. I would rather Naughty Dog create their own games and have Sony have another shit ass studio butchering their games. Yeah, but the but the fanboys they would they would I, I'm I honestly feel some people would like jump off the San Francisco Bridge if they if like Naughty Dog as, as was owned was owned by Microsoft and they suddenly started like th that's how fans would be like niggas would start jumping off bridges like we joke about Suicide Watch dudes would be on Suicide Watch bro. They were like, no. I was going to say something, but I'll refrain. Oh, I, I know. Le leave that man alone. He's gone. Leave him alone, Bond. Well, that's what I was talking about. I was going to say the Brooklyn Bridge, but... <laughs> yeah, leave that man alone. <laughs> well, that's that, that definitely what you was talking about. Yeah. I mean, yo, nowadays, I mean, if you really want to end it all, just go into a fast food joint and pick a fight with somebody behind the counter. <laughs> that is true. Undefeated. Uh, old Man Logan, you got any thoughts on, uh, you know... This uh, 343 Halo situation, thoughts on this? I mean, I don't, I, I, I agree. I don't think that this Paul Bertone guy is going to really bring anything different to the Halo franchise to make Halo Infinite any better. Um, my biggest gripe with Halo Infinite is just the amount of lack of content that they have in the game. I mean, you got the seasons that take six months to come out, which is just ridiculous. And then when they do come out, you only get one map. And... Like, I liked Halo Infinite. I enjoyed it. It was probably, like, my number two game of the year. But then all the fire behind Halo Infinite died relatively quickly when Season 2 came out this year. And so when I looked at, like, when Season 2 came out, and they're like, oh, yeah, we only got one map, one arena map, one big team map, and that's it. I'm like, where the hell is the content? And, of course, they still have yet to fix their the battle pass, the leveling up system anything like that and they have like desync issues and and all these things that's going wrong with this game it's like i'm not too sure what they can do uh you know what's, to you know what's crazy about the lack of content it's not that, even like they have to create new content they just have to put yeah. in the content they cut well the, well it's well, not even, even like that. it's it's not even like they'd have to cut content i'm like if you can't pump out brand new maps like at least give us legacy maps give the us board. Like like how, how or, or or yeah or Forge I mean but that's that's supposed to be coming out I think what this month I believe finally but it's just that there's not the content like I remember when when the beta came out last year I'm like oh this is like this is fire like I, I love the gameplay style to Halo Infinite like it's a great first person shooter very fun to play but then when the beta came out and then the actual game came out it didn't feel like there was anything added to it because really the beta was the full release they just slapped a beta on it so here we are sitting july of 2022 uh coming out like what 10 months almost 
nine, nine, ten months later, and we still only got one other map in the game or two other maps in the game in that time. And if you look at like games, I know obviously there's a lot more studios, but I mean, three for three is not a small studio. But if you look at stuff like like Call of Duty, they they pump out. I think they had when season one came out for Halo Infinite, Call of Duty already had for uh, Vanguard six maps added to the game by the time season one came out you know of crazy? Halo Infinite. So like, you know, what's crazy about Halo. Smooth intentionally tried to kill Halo. He <laughs> said it should have never wait. been delayed to begin with, and that the people wanting it to be delayed are losers or spoiled brats. Okay. Had they would have listened to Smooth, they would have killed. I mean, they already killed the, the franchise, but yeah, they would have nuked it. Smooth yeah. was literally campaigning to kill Halo. And, and Jack, I remember telling him that. I was like, yo, if it ain't ready, it ain't ready. Yep. Smooth Indeed. was ready to risk. He was like, I don't care. I just want something to play. <laughs> and, and I he definitely think he, played it. even if they delayed it from their November release date of last year to this year, I still don't think. I mean, I know I had heard somebody said it should have came out March of 2022. Yeah. I'm was like, like, what? Yeah. What? yeah. I forget who said that. I was like, what difference would that four months have made when we're still here in July and we only have two maps? Like, it, it wouldn't have gotten any better if you delayed it to March of this year. I mean, even even if they delayed it a whole nother year, I'm like, I don't no, know. No, what... If they would have released it, let's say if they like, you know, in rush it's easy to Monday morning quarterback things. But if they would have released it, let's say this November. Right. Um, I think obviously, you know, you would have like enough, you know, decent content for like a season um, one and then not being six months um, co-op and forge would definitely be in there at that point when you factor in when the game released and when those are scheduled to come. And um, uh, as far as polishing, would the game have looked any better? I mean, probably because, like I said, uh, some of the technical issues that the game actually had has actually been fixed. Um, um, so I think I think this November would have been appropriate where we would have gotten like the the full shebang of what was needed of the game if it would have come out this fall. Okay. So, well. Now- well, that's not what happened. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, another, here we are with another failure an incompetent by studio. Yeah, another failure by Microsoft, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I don't want to harp on that I too long. Um, no, I, 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 don't I, tell, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to tell all y'all niggas one thing. I was <laughs> motherfucking right. I told your asses, and nobody wanted to listen. There was a dude uh, in the comment section. I think it was last week. He was like, "Y'all, uh, y'all hate on Halo, but uh, y'all don't hate on you know Battlefield because that was a disaster too." I'm like, every I'm pretty sure every single time Battlefield has been brought up, we've said it's a dis- complete disaster. I don't know, like what he wants us Halo, but Halo is in the news for something every other week. Battlefield isn't. Every time Battlefield gets brought up in the news, we like it's trash. It's a disaster. I don't know what he, like what he wants us to do. So, but. Yeah, we're going to move on from that. I don't want to hurt his feelings or make him feel bad that we're picking on Halo, you know. But anyway, moving on. Um, So I don't think this is a big deal. I'm pretty sure it's not. But uh, Xbox Gold will no longer offer Xbox 360 titles. Who I don't know who is still playing 360 titles. Uni's going to be very upset at that one. I don't understand why we. He loved the uh, (laughs) post-Twitter shits of old-ass games. Oh, you're gonna love my next video. Um, no, no, no. I, the games with gold and them not producing Xbox 360 games anymore. Um, I mean, it's no different than didn't uh, what did um, I feel like what's name didn't PlayStation also just announce that um, they're gonna certain games that they're not gonna um, offer anymore or something like that, but yeah, they used um, to do the games and shit. Um, yeah, so it's, it, it, it's, it was gonna happen, but it's not like the games that they've been putting out for 360 has been of any quali- uh, quality, like you know what I mean. So, um, I, I really don't care. Um, like, and the reason why you hear me brag about old games is because usually when it has like some sort of you know cool enhancement to make you give me a reason to replay it, but um, in this case, it's like I, I really don't. I really don't mind. Um, 
uh, as you guys all heard, we've been been trying to get them campaigning from Xbox Live Gold to like to just or games with Gold to go to go away and like and find a way to like enhance you know Game Pass and give more value to um, Game Pass, make it Xbox Live Gold uh, multiplayer you know free for all. You know what I mean? Uh, like beyond just uh, you know free to play games. So um, it's anytime you hear hair, free to play online. It's free to it's free for superior free to play niggas. games for for free to play games. It's superior niggas on PC. So oh, yeah. uh, are you? Here's an important question, Smooth. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna play Peppa Pig? I will Ooh. be playing Peppa Pig. Oh, and Paw Patrol. I'll try, I'll try to beat that. No, no, absolutely, I, Peppa Pig. I beat I beat the original Paw Patrol, but this one is for the movie that's coming out. So this is a a, a, separate, a different game. Hmm. You're getting all the achievements in that bad boy, ain't you? Abso- absolutely, bro. Oh, man. Um, nice. So, I mean, even though this this, this month's uh, uh, Xbox Live, um, game, Xbox Game Pass uh, for the first half of July is, is fucking trash. I think everything outside of, like, As Dust Falls is kind of is mediocre. Um, Paw Patrols, like I said, those are just, like, you know, something to that I'm probably going to, you know, bust out on a Sunday. Um, oh. And... Whereas As Dust Falls is definitely going to be the best game, you know. I think that that we we're in for a treat for that game. Um, uh, As Dust Falls, yeah, y'all. But yeah, you guys remember the days with like PC gamers that talk about these like rare and obscure games that were yeah. really, really good, and <laughs> nobody would ever hear about them. Yeah, we so like, shut like, your ass up, PC gamer. We don't care about that. Yeah, like Xbox dudes do that now, but except they're the games they be they're not good. Yeah, it would yeah, be but- like back in the day it would be like indie games and these other obscure games and games that are on PC. We wasn't trying to hear none of that. I mean, I'm still not trying to hear most of that, but <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. But um yeah, otherwise like you no know, the July um Game Pass, you know, first half is kind of is 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 very 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 weak. Um Got you. My kids are going to enjoy a couple of those games, but Okay. Okay, okay, cool. Um All right. So, what else we got? Okay, so Kojima. Um, so, this is this this shit is crazy. So, uh, I think it's Shinzo Abe, or is it Abe Shinzo? I can't remember. You know, first and last name. But he was the prime minister in Japan, and Japan is one of the safest cities, uh, safest places in the world because of you know very strict. Um, well, I should say Tokyo is, is the city, but yeah. Um, it's one of the safest places to be, you know, because of s- s- such strict gun control and gun laws. And this guy, and, and pr- he was pr- the prime minister, Shinzo Abe, he was assassinated, uh, which is insane, by this guy, guy who made his own handcrafted guns in his house. They, I think they, they said they raided where he lived, and he had a whole bunch of uh, g- guns or firearms that he just crafted him, himself from, from scratch. And I think the gun he made was like a, it was almost like a double barrel shotgun that he just ran up on the prime minister with and killed him, which is, which is insane. And then after this happened, uh, a news station uh, was reporting about the, you know, the assassin and they used an image of, of Hideo Kojima. That's who they put up on screen claiming was the assassin um which is absolutely insane i think uh kojima productions had uh just put out a um just released a statement saying that you know this like this type of slander and you know misinformation you know they they would they might sue or something like that they're taking it serious because obviously that put his life in danger i'm not sure where he's located right now but obviously that put his life in danger and shit like that um this is wild shit what y'all think about this yeah, um, that was crazy seeing that picture of um, Hideo uh, K- uh, Kojima as the, the, it, that was a that wasn't like that was a another international like news site right that it was uh, a French uh, uh, news site and then it spread from there. Yeah, mm-hmm. like that that is because that yeah because like I said I mean, you know anytime something like that happens you know all guns are blazing you know what I mean. Um, for like you know redemption and whatnot, so that it I don't know how uh, they mess up like that, 
And just to follow up on what you said about like, you know, uh, Tokyo and being some of the safest, one of the you know best place to live or safe place to live due to like their, you know, their laws of, you know, things that you can and can't have. This dude had to make his own double barrel shotgun um, to even, you know, to do that. I mean, in my mind, I'm like, damn, if you have to take the time to make a gun, I mean, at some point you, you're probably just going to like forget it. <laughs> but, yeah, um, you know, that's what dedication. I mean? so, that's yeah, that's dedication. So it's it's crazy world, crazy times we're living in. But like, it, it's crazy for them to just to take. It. But it's not too far fetched of like things that because that takes place here, like here in America. You know, they come up with these new stories and they'll just take generic pics or you know often uh, like pics of like people and you know present it. Oh, this is the person or like you know what I mean. And in some cases, it'd be like completely like like flawed. Um, but now nah, you gotta be careful, you know what I mean? And it's the fact that it's, we all know who he is. Everybody knows he, he's a, a well-known person and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, imagine if they didn't catch the guy immediately, right? And that picture's floating around, you know, somebody's going to take matters into the, their own hands on the wrong person. So, um, yeah, that, that was tragic. It's crazy because from what I understand that he was a liked guy, like they liked this prime minister. He wasn't like a controversial you know political figure as far as i know like i said i don't i'm not sure the but that's what that I, read, I read the thing that i read said the reason he killed him is because um apparently there was some rumor that the prime minister was involved with some organization who was doing some bad stuff in japan mm. and it was never proven like it, it was just a rumor but the guy believed it and that's why he went to kill him. well did fox come what the hell <laughs> i don't know oh <laughs> It's crazy. But I put a picture of him in the chat. You can see. I see what you did he, there. He doesn't look like Kojima, but I mean, with the glasses and the hair, I guess they just found some Asian nigga with the glasses and hair and was like, "Oh, that's pretty him. much." They googled that Asian dude <laughs> yeah. with you know glasses. I guess that's it, it, it's it's kind of crazy because like this type of conspiracy th thing is what Hideo makes his you know Metal Gear about, like crazy conspiracies and assassinations and shit like that. Hey yeah, man, it, Jack, that was art a imitating day. life. That was a homemade quick encounter. <laughs> Definitely was. Jeez. Yeah. Shit is wild, man. Okay. Uh, no other thoughts on that. And we can move on. Are we going to get more game delays because of, like, political crap? Because, like, I don't even think um, Advance War Nintendo's released Advance Wars. They have that. Nope. Because of Ukraine. No. That's some bull crap. But, but that's why I said it was dumb to delay it in the first place because... Okay, are you just gonna wait till the war is over? And who knows when that's when that's gonna be? So if you're gonna delay a game because there's a war, are you gonna be like, okay? I think they just want to wait until niggas the, forget. The cycle kind of dies. <laughs> yeah, basically. No, I'm like, that's it's it's not because you're not there's doing it for the. There's always gonna be a war. Yeah, I don't know when that's gonna happen because e each week both of them keep updating their kill counts of like how much damage they've done to one another. So I mean, they're gonna stay. Well, and, saying, there's, uh, um, there's always going to be a war. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I said like, yo, forget what the what it looks like. You know what the optics look like. There's always this this war is going to be going on for a while. So if you if you delayed it because it it's insensitive because of what's going on, that means you're you're not going to let it sit for years. This game is done. You're not going to let it sit out there for for years. So that means that you all you're doing is waiting for. Oh, they done forgot about it now. You know, because, you know, stuff happens and then, yeah, people forget after a few weeks. It's like the shit with, with, uh, with Afghanistan, 9-11. At first, you know, it was a big deal. And then after fucking five years, it's kind of like, well, people move on. Like, it's still happening, but it's not like a thing people are actively, you know, worried yeah. about every single day. Yep. So, I'm still waiting on that game. All right. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw is getting a remaster i think i don't think it's a remake i think it's a remaster um never played the game as far as i heard it's mid it's not really a good game and but for some reason it's it's getting a remaster anybody have actually played this the original no i won't i love <laughs> i love lollipop chainsaw man oh man hey man i didn't hear good things about it what is the it. gameplay even like well yeah tell it's, us about the it's game like a, it's like a hack and slash like zombie Whoa, you're you're I'm, a cheerleader but like, you say, oh, I'm good. <laughs> it's got the, you got like you know, your boyfriend so, chopped head on your, on yeah, your, yeah. Your, your boyfriend dies, but his head's still yeah. alive. So he's like your companion you go around with. And then, uh, 
Yeah, man. Oh, dude, I love. I, so I like this. I'm excited for that it's being brought to modern consoles because um, it's not backwards compatible on on 360. At least I don't believe it is. And then um, you'd have to play it on PS3, or I don't think it came out on PC. But so like this, I'm kind of yeah. interested. Uh, yeah. I love I love Suda Fifty One games, and this was one of my favorites that came out in that 360 PS3 era. So I'm I'm pumped was for it. Was it out. a 360 exclusive, or I'm tripping? No, no it was no, on it was on, it was on PS3 and 360. Okay. I just don't. Oh, I thought it was no, exclusive. It was no, it wasn't. Oh, what the? F- okay. Yeah. So, but you, you th- go ahead. Oh yeah, but I was gonna say like the people that's involved with this, like Suda Fifty One and uh, James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy, they are not gonna be involved with this remake or remaster or whatever it is. So, because hmm. they said something about like um, realistic graphics, and they also said that some of the licensed music that was part of the original is not going to be here for this whatever this ends up being which is understandable because of the they have to pay out for that if they try to use the license for that again which i don't think they're going to get this time around oh let me let me ask you uh logan since you know you, you played it is it one of those games that because you know there, there's games that we we play and we like but we also low-key know it's trash is it one of those games for you, or are you, you? It's actually a good game. You feel? No, like I. I mean, I can't. Sp- I can't speak for everybody, but at least for me, I. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun okay. with it. It was wacky fun. I like. Like I said, if you like Suda Fifty One style games, mm. like yeah, like if if you liked, um, it was like Killer Seven or Shadow of the Dam or like the No More Heroes, like any any of those, like it's got that same that same vibe to it. So. Like I, I enjoy those, so if you do, then then I'd say yeah. Okay. Um, not gonna lie to you. Seems like a seems like a Game Pass game. Feels like that. Lie to you. I'm right, so should be in Game Pass. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't Game Pass, I wouldn't be mad because I'd I'd be able to play it then. <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you. I'm surprised you even had this as a topic, BG. <laughs> I mean, so it, it, I mean, partially that and partially. I mean, oh some people God. like the game, I was told. So it's a little bit of both. Yeah. A little bit of both, you know? Yeah, because it's the only Suda 51 game that ever sold a million. <laughs> Damn, so, really? That's, yeah. That's crazy. His his yeah. games aren't, like, big big sellers. By, yeah, by I know they're kind of like but, a niche type situation. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very niche. The the style, like, they're not super serious, like, narrative. Um, They're just wacky, crazy, just fun time games. That you can mm-hmm. play through and probably get everything you need out of it in just one playthrough. It's a mindless ungabunga. Let's call it. Oh, oh yeah, a- absolutely. Especially okay, a lot okay. Of my off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, listen, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a mindless ungabunga here and there. I ain't mad at it. Okay. All right. Uh, Fable Reboot gets a new narrative lead. Um, Not new. Like, oh well this is what it, this headline is telling me i don't know yeah yeah no 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 you're good no nah, it's just people are running like the thing is she's been on the project she's just been promoted to do that to become the lead like she's but she's been on the project for a minute with everybody else she's been at the studio she just wasn't the lead okay so she got, she got a little promotion um was yeah. there a narrative lead before no nah, i think they just had a bunch of people that they hired that were um that's seemed- that's concerning. <laughs> no, no, they've had a, they have a bunch of writers. Like I follow a lot of the people. So they have a bunch of writers, but no lead. Like, I, that's well, I mean, they, they determined who's like going to take the lead, but they fired a bunch of like writers for the studio, like or, like over the last couple of years and whatnot. Um, and I remember her posting that she's working with it, and then somebody else and whatnot, and then she's the one that's the lead at that point. I mean, you could have a team of writers. Um, and working on the same story, and then and, and somebody you know gets the lead direction. Mm-hmm. Well, may, maybe they were just rewarding whoever did the best work with that lead position this whole time. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, um, not having leads <laughs> in certain because, like, doesn't uh, Jack, you might know, didn't they say that days, uh, well, not well, um, Sony bend like even on this, whatever they're working on now, didn't they say like th- there's not like a lead? creative director or something like that they don't have that, oh, at that they studio. Oh. i oh, think boy. i think so i think uh, in the interview with um that dude j- did with david jaffe you know the two dudes i think they said they didn't yeah. they don't ha- currently have a, like a lead creative director or something like that and you know i don't you know i always say i don't put too much 
weight on one person, but like certain titles, like creative director, you know, is, is really the visionary and knows exactly what a project should be. And, you know, so I do think that's one of the important ones, though. So. Yeah, but uh, OK, so yeah, Fable, Fable 2025. <laughs> I'm hoping 2024, but who knows? Yeah, I think it's 2024. Okay. Hey, man. Hope so. Hope so for y'all. I've only played like one Fable game, and uh, never ended up beating. I, I tried to play like the Fable first one too. on Game Pass, bro. I can't. I can't do it, bro. I'm trying to I, play I, the I, um, first one for a hot minute. I'm happy I'm, that they made it. You know. 4K 60, but I can't get over those controls, man. It just controls. Yeah, that controls are shitty. The original Fable is the best Fable by far. Yeah, I'm I'm Fable Three is my was my favorite, but oh, I know is it's this the most, one, is this new one which, which is crazy because I know it's the most them. hated one. Well, I loved it, dude. I loved being a king. I loved taxing everybody to galore. I love that. Well, mm. is this new one a reboot or is it a sequel? Reboot, I believe. There's people yeah, they said it's saying that it's a sequel, but I, I don't that. And then there's people saying it's a reboot. Like they just named it as Fable, so yeah. I, I, I it sounds like a, a reboot, but I don't know. We'll have to see. As wasn't there like, like a, play it without, without having knowledge of the other games? I'll try it out. Wasn't there a Fable yeah. after Fable Three, like Fable Legends? Am I making that up? No, that yeah, didn't, that never came out. Are oh. you talking about the? No, there the, there's a Fable Connect game too. Yeah, there, yeah, I forget what that was called, but. There was that Fable, Fable Heroes, Legends, maybe. No, Fable Legends was the it's supposed to be like the multiplayer game where you had to, no, the Heroes. one. I'm pretty sure it was Fable Legends. What is it? No, what no, that it? was called Fable Legends. I'm talking about the Connect game. I think maybe that was oh. called Fable Heroes. Oh, they said Fable Journey. Is that what it's called? Somebody journey. Said yeah, Journey. Journey. journey yeah, Journey. Okay. Yeah, I, I, only, I, I do remember. I think it was the original Fable. I remember like the commercial for some reason because it like in. It, I. In all the fables, you could like be bad or good. You could choose to be bad or good, right? Like completely evil. Yeah. Or... Okay. The problem is, is Fable could have easily have been like one of Microsoft's RPGs that's grown throughout the years, but they just after Legends, it just felt like they they didn't know what to do with the brand for a while, and then when they figured it out, they've wasted a whole generation building on to that IP. So. Well, uh, I hope it's great in twenty twenty five, man. I'm, I just believe it's coming out 2025, man. I, you know, I believe everything, oh, everything is going to take longer than than it does. But I, I wish the best for y'all. It wouldn't surprise me if it's 2025. Yeah. Early, you know, February, March, something like that. It, it, right. That's what is that what you want or that's what you? Hope no, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Probably, probably not going to buy the game either way. So I don't have a. I don't have a dog in the fight. Dog yeah, in the race. Right. Dog in the fight. Whatever game. it is. I don't know. I gotta see it. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. I, I really have the, no idea. You you literally knew for a fact, hundred percent fact, you was gonna hate Death Stranding, and you still went out and tried it and got that game to play. Oh yes, sir. That rental. That uh. Yeah, you gonna do something? Right. No, no. I gotta see the gameplay. Um, I just don't think I I vibe with the type of uh, RPG that Fable is, but uh, I'll see. We'll see. All right. Um. Oh, we got Skull and Bones. So, yeah, I'm just going to stay quiet when I say Skull and Bones. Nobody excited for Woo! the next Ubisoft oh, game. Jesus. Woo! It's the next game Ubisoft. Die. Yeah, what do you want me to say about that? that next wrong, generic man. Ubisoft game. All right. Who's it? Hey, hey, man. Put some... All right. So, Skull and Bones, we know it's been through development hell. This was first premiered, I don't know, I want to say like four years ago. Then we never heard from it again. Um, so, Assassin's Creed as we know, was a um, Prince of Persia spinoff. That's where, you know, the idea stemmed from. Now, uh, Skull and Bones is a spinoff idea from Assassin's Creed 3, 3 and 4 combat. So in case you, you know, ever wonder why all of their goddamn games feel exactly the same, even when they change concepts, that's why. Like, they just stem ideas from their previous games. But there's there's no other... Well, Sea of Thieves. This is the only other game like this with ship combat and stuff like that, where you treasure and you have a crew, is only Sea of Thieves. So there's not Clock like this... Three. Clock over three. Shut your ass up, Jack. What? Anybody trying to hear that bullshit? Shut up. All right, man. Sly Cooper That might have been two, three. actually. It might have been two. I can't remember. Hey, Fuck shut you, up. Fuck Anybody you. trying to hear that? What was that, one level in the whole game? 
What they got to do with anything? It's that, I ship, mean, and then ship you, combat. I mean, then, then you can you if that logic you can say Wind Waker is technically one because oh it was there you go the ship and ship. Ship. <laughs> yeah Fire. so there's not a lot of games in this genre there's not not a lot of competition and listen even though I hate the state of Ubisoft hate it hate pretty much all their only game they even make right now ain't even a game that belongs to them which is the mario rabbits game right that's the only game they make i like but their game the, but that doesn't change the fact that like their games are still successful assassin's creed selling more than ever um siege uh, i'm not sure of the popularity of it right this second but it, it was very popular at some moment they still even support their games that struggle out the gate for honor they still support that people still play it like their games are their games are like they're doing well i just think that like i think us the hardcore kind of hate it you know so i don't mind ubisoft games i see i see skull and bones doing doing good even though i'm not gonna play it and i hate ubisoft i actually see this this game doing good even though maybe it stumbles out the gate right they may have to fix a lot of things like they fix with a lot of their live service games. But I think long term, over time, this could be a game that a lot of people play. I, it could be, you know, even though I'm not going to play it. Thoughts? I'm not playing it either. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it a try, but... I'm also, you know you're playing it, bro. Nah, because I'm not good with these, like, these specific, like, boat combat and, like, mm -hmm. navigating a ship and stuff like that. Mm hmm so you ain't you ain't okay. you don't you don't be riding with your crew on Sea of Thieves then? Nah, not mm. not unless I'm uh, unless I got like three other people that's competent enough to do it. Okay. Yeah. To, to kind of to you so you, don't, so you mean what that translates to is I don't got a I need Attic and a few other niggas to backpack me. That's what you say on Sea of Thieves. That's what it sounds like. That's, that's what, what it what sounds you. like. Okay. Is that what it is though? I think that's what it is too. Yeah, it may, it may be. All right, yeah. brother. All right. I know so, this is based off like mm -hmm. the Assassin's Creed uh, naval things, but the reason why I'm kind of not interested is because in all of those games where you could be, where you could have like your own ship and stuff, those were always the least fun sections to me. I always had more fun on land fighting and mm -hmm. you know assassinating niggas. I didn't. I mean, the boat shit was okay, but it was never like my favorite parts of the game. Yeah. I think the boat segment's going to be in depth. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to be what you see in Black Flag. I think it's going to feel similar because you play Black Flag, but I think it's going to be more depth than Black Flag. Right. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a dedicated ship combat game. So, you know, like, like I said, just the fact that it does, if you want to play a game like that, you got, there's going to be two options, that game and, and Sea of Thieves. So, just off that, he'll probably have uh, a decent player base. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have, you know, that much to say about it. It's, it's, it's coming out this year. I think, I think it's the end of the year finally after being delayed. I, and I've been told like know. right after God of War, right before, like the day before. Yeah, that 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 release date's a little questionable. I think mm -hmm. they should have picked a better date because, to me, I just feel like they're sending that game out to die. They're done with it. They don't want to waste any more money on it. They're just pushing it out. Didn't they say they rebooted development though? Like, uh, yeah, it yeah. went through a bunch of. Oh shit. yeah, it's been through multiple. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do think great. they're like kind of throwing it out at this point because, yeah, they don't want it to be this game that becomes vaporware and and you know just sucks up a whole bunch of money you know over time. So they might as well release it, oh. get some people to you know buy it, get use that money, that upfront money, and make it a you know it's going to be a live service game. So. Might as well put it out, you know, even though it's probably going to be honestly a, a beta or uh, an early access game. Get that get that, you know, early initial money and then use that to, um, you know, support the game further and collect money. That's what they're going to do. So it'll work out for them. All right. Uh, what else we got? So there were rumors about a Red Dead Redemption remaster. And I think even a GTA 4 remaster, but I knew the yes. Red Dead Redemption yeah. remaster um, was had a lot more uh, gravity to it. Uh, GTA GTA 4 is without a doubt the worst GTA game. Don't argue with me. That's it's just Whoa. bad. 
Uh, um, I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> it's it's just GTA bad. GTA 4 is way better than GTA 3. Uh, sure. Not not trying to get in this argument again. I hate y'all who disagree with me. This that game is horrible. Why? Not only for GTA this, standards. Like cousin Nico? Oh God. Nico. Oh, God. God. Yeah, look, none of y'all can hey, tell me cousin. that GTA 4 had the most lit online multiplayer on 360 at the time, before party chat and everything. Online was cool. Nico, come save me. I'm in trouble. I want to go bowling. I want to be shut your GTA ass up. Let's go bowling. Is not bad at all. Sounds like oh, weird. So annoying, bro. I, I hate it. Oh, I, I was all I, right I, with Nico dying, or not Nico dying. No, it's, it's well, you can't you can't save him. You can't save him. Well, I will yeah, say can. this though. Um, GTA Four only got one system. GTA Five got three. That is true. Mm -hmm. so I'll take I'll take more GTA Fours. Yeah, I uh, I just want to point out I told y'all about Red Dead One oh, remastered brother. like two years ago. He sure did. Wani did. did tweet that. I remember that. Well, we all knew that was going to come at the success of Red Dead 2, but now it's delayed. Uh, yeah, they, it, there's a speculation that it's not even coming out anymore. And I'm I'm a big Red Dead 1 fan. Um, I think Red Dead 1 is better than Red Dead 2. You know, that's another mm. thing. I'm, I'm not trying to hear nobody on. Uh, that's that's that is. I don't really think as, that's a hot take, though, BG. Uh, yeah, listen, story wise, it is better, bro. Absolutely. There are some dudes that got. RDR2 deep down their throat, bro. They think that's oh, the best game ever made. BG, what is I'm gonna tell you, you the only today? good parts about Red Dead 2, Red Dead 2 has a better like... world, a better open world, and oh, Arthur is a better but... character than John. I'm just saying, there's there's people that deep throat Red Dead 2, bro. I'm telling you, like then they're annoying. Like, bro, this game is this game is a chore to play. Red Dead like... 2 was Red Dead 2 was lit as fuck, though. Let's not put let's not be silly about this. I'm not. It's definitely not a bad game. All right, I, well, I, it definitely deserves, you know, the praise uh, that it gets. Yeah, uh, the praise be. that it gets for the most part. Not denying that, but RDR the one shoot, is just the, the better. Shoot, the worst part about the game, the shooting fucking sucks. That's it. Like, the, the shooting, shooting sucks, horrible. which is insane because it's it's a game about cowboy shooting. Um, and uh, the first game had great shooting compared to that. So, and that was crazy. Yeah, all all the all the goddamn micromanagement. Oh my god. I don't I that's a game I don't blame anybody. If you weren't able to finish Red Dead 2, I do not blame you because it is long of, as fuck. It's a long ass game. It's not only that, there's parts of that game that's a chore to do. Like it's literal chore. There's like there's parts of that game that there's no way you can lie to me and it was like, oh, you, you could tell me, oh, this was fun. You're lying. Some of those missions were chores, maintaining, yeah. you know, whether it was the cleaning your gun, feeding your horse, doing that over. Like that stuff is chore, bro. It's not fun. You can't lie to me and tell me, oh, yeah, did this for the thousandth time in the game and it's still great. Like, no, come on, bro. You the fact that you could. um, What was it? You could like get, when you had to bring money back to the camp and donate the money and it didn't oh, yeah, really yeah, change yeah, yeah. anything. It had no yeah. real change. Is, am I bugging on that, Jack? Wasn't that the case? Yeah, pretty much. Like, That was a big complaint. That camp shit had no re no like. It meant nothing. <laughs> the camp. It, 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 it exactly. So it, you could you could dump all your money into that camp and you get nothing for it. So what did I waste my money for? You know, like that was highly flawed. And um, yeah, I, I'm I'm so I am sad about Red Dead uh, One not getting a remake because that would have been amazing. Let me put a poll up. Ask people what they think is the better game. Um, but anybody else got thoughts on uh, this remake not happening? I mean, the remakes only happened because of what the poor reception of of the the definitive editions of Grand Theft Auto, right? Which is yes, yes. kind of kind of their own damn fault to begin with. Yeah, but those yeah. still sold crazy, which has got to yeah, crazy. Yeah, they do. So that's why but, I don't understand if they if they sold well. Like, what what was the reason behind a uh, canceling? Well, it? I think the reports that they just wanted to focus on GTA Six. They wanted to yeah, all their efforts on, on GTA 6. Like, they even said they took off people off the Red Dead Online team to work on mm -hmm. GTA 6. So they, they going like... Red Dead Online, I get no more updates either. Yeah, and people mad about that. Yeah. Red Dead Online barely got any real support. Red Dead 2 Online is fucking trash, yo. Yeah, Red Dead... On, Red Dead the original Red Dead on, you know, Online was... Lasted right. longer, was more supported. It, it had... It's, it was it's still going. It's still going. Them servers still up. Yeah, which is which is crazy. Like that that is insane, bro.
Okay. Great game. Great game. Yeah. Poll is up. Let us know what you think. We'll see what the results are. Um, let me see. So, so Jeff Keeley. Uh, great guy. Great, guy. great, great, great guy. Uh, Kojima's significant other. Um, that's well, a joke. Jeff. I'm just joking. <laughs> I love just... you, Jeff. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, dudes were upset. You know, they were you know, all in Jeff Keeley's uh, mentions because they believed that uh, the release, the uh, the cutoff date for the game of, game of the year awards, the Keeleys, was adjusted so that God of War Ragnarok could be included. And they believe that last year, uh, the uh, the cutoff date, you know, for the cutoff date was set to exclude Forza Horizon 5. So they're like, Which oh, you dumb, know, Forza was part of it. It just didn't it, get nominated. Exactly. It won awards. Right. So these these dudes, this is this is like, I don't understand how, how you make a complaint about something that an easy that a quick Google search will solve and answer your question for you. you you're telling me that you thought Forza was excluded for it because it didn't make the cutoff date. You could literally just go at the, go look at the nominees for last year and see that not only was Forza nominated, it won, I think, at least one award. It could have been two, but it was definitely a, at least one. And then on top of that, some people thought that, oh, it was nominated, it, it was uh, included for other awards, but not up for not not able to be nominated for game of the year which makes no sense you, you know what i'm saying like nobody, nobody voted for it on the panel for exactly it, it was just that nobody voted for it or not enough people voted for it to be a game of the year category nominee like you can't be you can't be nominated and included in the game of the year awards and other other awards and then not be up for nomination in another one you get what i'm saying it doesn't work that way so all it was is it just wasn't nominated and and it's it's because it's a racing game if you want to see they're they're mad at the wrong thing if you want to make the case that racing games should you know le legitimately be considered for game of the year that's, that's one thing I, you know if that's the argument I, I would i could agree with you there i'm like fine cool you can you can make that statement but saying that it wasn't nominated because there's some bias there or you know they're i don't know out to get forza no it's it's just that they don't do that they don't give racing games that same level of respect like that's that's all it is yeah, so they were in there won't be there this year no racing game has ever been you know nominated for anything else besides a sports racing game. i don't even think do, do racing games even get nominated for like graphics they got uh, sound design i don't believe so and yeah and racing games sometimes have have some of the best graphics they don't even get nominated for that. Design awards, shit. So yeah, they 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 mad at Jeff Keighley, you know, conspiracy theories like, oh, it's because it's a Sony game. You're adjusting the, you know, the the date and all that. It was madness. I didn't get the whole they adjusted the date when he announced that the date change was last year. It changed to November mm -hmm. 19th of 2021, and they're saying, yeah, that that's what I was getting from that was that people were complaining saying that he adjusted this year's date to November mm -hmm. 19th when he clearly said. It was November nineteenth of twenty twenty one. We're in twenty twenty two. So that that shit right there, that it should have ended right there. Like yeah. because it's not like Jeff Keeley could uh predict when they were gonna launch God of War Ragnarok this year, last year. Yeah, that's it's in, it's insane. Um like what are you, why are y'all still crying about something that happened last year also on top of this? Like y'all gotta let y'all gotta let that pain go, bro. Y'all gotta let this pain go. Y'all gotta heal. Come on, bro. They, they don't gotta let shit go. They gotta mm. heal from this. Xbox and, fans just need to wait till next year, man. When all the games come out next year, man, they're gonna they're gonna be better, man. And there's some people, right, who believe that the the cutoff date should be pretty much the whole calendar year, right? Like it should be from January first. Oh. Yes, yes. I was arguing yeah, with a dude best. about this. No. They think it should be from January 1st to December 31st, and then the awards should be in January. And I'm actually one of those people. I, I well, see, uh, go if ahead. you think about it, all other awards do that. Uh, Oscars, Grammys, they always do the previous year, but yeah. their cutoff is usually in the fall still. So 
Like they don't have they don't like you can't drop an album in December and then be uh nominated for a Grammy in February. It don't work that way. The cutoff is always in the fall. So I don't know. Yeah. Um because the reason I disagree with it is because in gaming, games I, I went and looked, like look look at the games that release after November, right? Because it's really after it's only like one week left in November. Um, in a few days after November 19th. And then you got December. So it's really just December. Games, well, award quality games very rarely release in December. Halo Infinite, you could argue, was, you know, was was one of them. Go back and look at prior years. It it, it hardly happens. You know, so so, so we, we want to change the date and, and, and like, because one game that may deserve an award comes out in December every like four years that doesn't make any sense to me it's, Man, it's not look. that I look I I get it for for money wise for marketing rise well I guess that's the same thing mm -hmm. it's got to be the way it is and, and, and you know at that point you just got to take how it is but to me it's just like I've always felt like the like you can't have game of 2022 or game of 2021 where some games, not a lot, but there are some games that miss that that slot by a couple of weeks. And like, sure, at that point, you could blame the developers or the publishers. But like, we already have enough rushing games out the gate to meet, you know, marketing wise to meet uh, people that want to to get this quarter. Now you got to add in, oh, if they want to be part of the the video game awards, they got to meet this date too. Like, <clears throat> the cutoff is in November, like mid November, though, like. The year is almost mm -hmm. over at that point. Like, and then Didn't if you just, a damn, you know, you know when the fucking cutoff date is. I don't, I don't see the issue. I mean, that that's why I said I understand the system yeah. and why it is the way it is. I don't agree with it, but I understand why it's only it like, is what, the way it is. Six weeks left at most after that, if that, yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> like the dude I was arguing with, you know, because I, I was like, okay, so give give me some games that have released in like December or after January nineteenth. That's like, you know should have that that would have been excluded like in, in you know in in history this man told me just cause three okay i lied to you he said, <laughs> bro when he said just cause three i was like all right bro like has you just win. has any you just win. cause game <laughs> ever been nominated for anything ever hell no he was just, he was just talking <clears throat> at that point he was just saying what games was there yeah man exactly. i would say star star wars jedi fallen order did kind of get snubbed though for that I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. agree. It did. It was like that was a very, very solid and solid game, and it was probably my game of the year for twenty nineteen. Yeah. yeah, Jedi definitely. Uh, I definitely agree with that. You know, another game that was very, very good, but unfortunately, I think it, it released like like December third. Immortals: Phoenix Rising. And yeah, I but that was. I don't think that would have. I, don't, I still don't know about that. I don't think that would have been nominated. Not for game of the year, but it should have been nominated for something. That was a good. I mean, I, I, I get it. And it's like I said, I understand the, the why it is the way it is. You know, it's just something we have to deal with. Like there are certain things that are put in place that's strictly for money purposes, pretty much. And you just got to deal with that because if you can't fund the event and get everyone paid, then it's just going to go away. And I'd rather it be around than him switch it up just to please the, 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 the few people that do have an issue of where it's go, how it's going. Yeah. The 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 other games the guy you know named to me was Far Cry Three. He said he looked at he he said it came out in December 2012, and that didn't sound right to me. I looked it up. Oh, Far July. Cry Three came out in November, right? Oh, November. But but he said uh, in other territories it came out in December. Where do I'm you like, find these people with BG? Bro, they <laughs> find territories. me. They Come find on. me, bro. He said Far you, Cry you, Three. You sitting up here humoring this dumb ass shit though. I'm like, like this is like people are dumb. He said Far. You do, like I said, you do be, you do be feeding into this shit. Sometimes. Bro, like you be talking with Joe Schmo, like unprovoked on Twitter. Like I got him you'll, blocked. You'll now. sit there. Now here's the thing, uh, BG. You'll be sitting there and you'll be like, why is these Xbox fans so crazy? And then you look at who you're talking to. They got like an avatar <laughs> for for a picture. They got like two followers, three, and no, they're following a like dude. 150 people. Like this is actually a dude that like he people have seen him tweet, and he, he actually seems like a like a normal person. Like he seems that's the best I can say about him. He seems like a normal him. person. All right, but he him. said Far Cry Three, Just Cause, Just Cause Three, Hitman Two. I'm like, you know, okay, Hitman, uh. 
That, he's it's Hitman not getting 2. nominated for no fucking Yeah, it, 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 Hitman 2 had missed a nomination um, prior uh, to them changing it to November 19th. But Hitman 2 wasn't winning no awards either. Like, and not then no, not said, no Game of the Year award, but... And then like he said... Else. And the last game he said was The Last Guardian. I'm like, brother. Brother. The <laughs> <Okay, laughs> Last that Guardian. Game that game ain't winning no awards. Yeah, like, good boy, bro. Sure know so, how to find them, don't you, PG? I don't, bro. I'm telling you. I just be, I just be commenting to like i'll comment to jeff Keeley, and then i'll get like these weirdos saying this type of stuff to me I, so i don't even be talking to the people i'll comment to the person this actual person and then they see my comment and they talk to me bro trust me i don't but you know it's not the protocol dropping in december yeah that's a, yeah, that's, that's an exception so like that one won't well, be we don't even know it's gonna be good or not like we, gotta, we, we don't gotta I, I, hope, I hope i mean i think it'll be it? a good game but i don't know if it'll be Game of the year worthy. You, you, you I'm you, yeah, I'm copying it. Ooh, yeah. Fire. Jack. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So yeah. Them weirdos is mad at Jeff Keeley. We can move on. This nigga fighting a ninja turtle on the screen. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh what else we got? Um Jazzy, you are here because of Klonoa. This game was released. Ooh. Um I don't. I don't yeah, sell me on this one because I've been looking at this in the store for a minute. Oh, you just you just desperate and thirsty, ain't you? Uh, this is a what? an old platformer, right, Jazzy? Yeah, it was on the PlayStation One. Then it was remaked on the Wii, and now it's on the everywhere else now. This ain't the sequel. No, it got the sequel. It's not the compilation. It's both Clonola, the first game on PlayStation One, and Clonola Two that was on the PlayStation Two. But they're both like remastered this time around. Okay. And it's on everything. Okay. Sell us on the um, game. Okay. But before I ask that smooth, how did you find out it in the store? Because they're not selling any physical copies at all. This the in the US. Store. Data by Xbox. digitally. Digital. Digital. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Got that. So, um, Clonola is pretty much like a 2.5 platforming game from Bandai Namco. Because the first original game, Clono, it used to use sprites, but since now it's been using this, now it's just like more 3D because it's being developed by Monkey Craft. It's not actually what from Bandai Namco. Shut your ass up, Jack Move. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> he's, he's fed up. He's, we, we, we got him, boys. Yeah, I gotta have it. <laughs> um, but pretty much so far, it's been good. The only thing I. The only thing difference between this one, because this is just like the original, it's not using sprites, it's 3D models. It looks similar to like the Wii version, because this one is just, it doesn't use sprites, and it doesn't use CGI cutscenes as it did on the PlayStation 1 version. Um, the only difference is a lot more colorful, and unlike the Wii version, Clonola, the character you're playing as, is actually dressed like he is in his PlayStation 1, so he doesn't look like an older... He actually looks like an actual kid. And the only difference in this version is that the... There's like a easy mode where pretty yeah. much for... Yeah, hate to see it. This thing is in the easy mode because it just makes your beam longer and you have infinite amount of lives. Hey, horse. And Oh, smooth, smooth soul? No. What's the infinite amount of lives? <laughs> no, it depends. If I, can't get, if I get the 100% completion... On easy, then I'm still with it. If not, I mean, I still, I still get the game. I'm, um, I just want to know if it's decent. Go ahead, carry on. Oh, uh, for me, it's been. It, I think the games themselves are really decent. I think they're pretty good because 2.5D. The only thing I, I will say, smooth. You're probably not gonna get the uh, extra vision trophy for that because it's basically like a tower you have to go through. It's like literally platforming hell. It's like the most difficult part of the game, oh, wow. but. But you might be able to still get the trophy on easy mode, but I'm not sure if you if they actually allow it or not. But you only get to that stage once you beat the game and you mm. save all the uh, people in the first game. Let me ask you something. Is it sure. better than Sly Cooper? Absolutely, man. Oh, Come man. on, Jazzy. Come on, <laughs> brother. What are you doing? Hey man, I can't. hey, man, I gotta be honest. Well, it can't, but, be that, uh, it can't be too hard to be better than that game, though. But carry on. Yeah, but it's like I said, it's a nice game. It's like a cult following because it's never, it's always underperformed. And so you have now, like right now, you have like a lot of people mad because like Band 
one of the producers of this said like okay they just wanted to see more profitable and be successful and you have like a lot of weaves you have like a lot of furries like mad shit at them because oh because they want the game to sell well and like they said they haven't done enough even though there's like a demo of it like right now when the game dropped so you have people like her in their films even though this series in itself has always been obscure ever since like it when it debuted like bro even digimon survive got more clout than their fucking colonella bro what the hell mm. okay well they uh, bring... okay Any, anything else uh, yeah it's just one of those situations where people like begging and pleading for something to come back even though they've already tried to bring colonel back like on the wii and this now, like, people just making excuses. Like, they're expecting this game to sell really well when it really... I don't expect this game to even do much, even if physical copies were even going to be here. So I feel like people are just overestimating J- J- uh, Japanese games. It's the same thing like a Sony Japan Studio type of thing. Okay. So, to the panel, quick yes or no's. Y'all copping this? No. Fuck no. 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 Okay. All right. What is well, Lenoa about this about a dude with... Ears, arms for ears, or what the his arms or his ears supposed to be at? I don't even know what the fuck. Like I don't understand it. His arms or his ears? That what it looked like? Ain't ain't that what it is? (laughs) I don't know. Well, yeah, he looks like a freaking rabbit, like a black rabbit, pretty much. I don't know exactly what he's supposed to be, but he just all he uses like what's his powers? You said he had a beam. No, he has like a a thing called like the wind ring, and it basically use like shoots projectiles enemies. But on normal mode, you just have to get in, like, right in front of them to actually use it. But in easy mode, like, the projection is actually longer. But basically, the main way to deal with enemies, and he can pick enemies up if he fires it at them, like, throw them, like, all around in different directions. Okay. All right, would you recommend this or Cal the Kangaroo? KO. KO. Cal. Yeah, fuck Cal the Kangaroo, bro. <laughs> what do you do? What the hell? <laughs> No, I dropped that game in a heartbeat, man. Fuck that. Oh, man. What was wrong? Well, with too hard for you? No, I wasn't too hard. It was just bland. Mm. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, th- thank you for that uh, summary and that breakdown, sir. Can I always count on you to, uh, you know, talk about all the games nobody else is going to buy. So. Yes, sir. That's crazy. Shout out to you. All right. Uh, Forspoken has been delayed this game as you know is being made Uh, by luminous productions and published by square enix we've got different we we got a bunch of different showings of this game and uh i mean it it gives different vibes you know it seems some somewhat like a tech demo it seems like you know it's made by a studio who doesn't you know who doesn't know all the way what they're doing a little bit in, in experience i don't think we've ever seen this game you know, running at a stable frame rate. It's been delayed once so far. Uh, no, this is this is the second delay, right? Because it was supposed to come out uh, the beginning. Yeah, the beginning of this oh, year. Oh, yeah, you talking about the original date? Yeah, the original release date was like March, I think, of this year. Then it got delayed to, to October. Now it's been delayed to January. Uh, so, listen, I want this game to be good. I don't have too much faith in it but i want it to be good i mean it's good that it's being delayed you know i i've always said it should be and um i think it has a better chance now i don't think the story is necessarily going to be great i don't think the gameplay is necessarily going to be you know the best either but i think the best they can do right now is just clean up the game and make sure it runs well Uh, yep Mm -hmm. yeah this is one of those classic uh good news bad news right it was like you know, because believe it or not, contrary to what made people believe, there are people looking forward to for spoken. Um, mm-hmm. So you know how you know PlayStation typically they try to, you know they they deliver their news with either good news and bad news, right? And one thing's going to overshadow the other. Usually, the good news you know does uh, good to overshadow the bad news. The good news was we got the God of War release date. The bad news, same day and damn near same time. We got the Forspoken uh, delay. Um, I'm looking forward uh, to Forspoken. Um, um, and it's looked like there's, I don't think this is an optimization delay because uh, they, they, they got a date with January 24th. 
um they have a um a january 24th and they've kind of made it apparent we are uh we spoke with our partners um <laughs> to to move the day i don't i don't know why but um well, but I I know BG, yeah i know it's got a war but it's like <laughs> it's like i mean I, I, like do you think this it being was it two weeks before God of War, right? Is that going to hurt its release date? Like, was I, it think, I think so, yeah. If someone's got to pick one or the other, absolutely, they're going to go with God of War. Yeah, but God of War, I mean, you could play that game, beat it, and by the time God of War comes out, like, you, you should be like, uh, I mean, I get it, but... I, like, I think the game surrounding it would hurt it, not necessarily just God of War, because that yeah, is a... Because it's an unproven game. <laughs> Yeah, that needs to be in a month, like almost by itself, which that which is why January is good. Yeah, new IP, it makes sense. Yeah, everybody's getting out of God of War's way. Yeah. Um, didn't you know, uh, like, didn't a uh, game? Yeah, I was forespoken that already got out of its way, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I uh, I don't know. I just don't know about that story. It seems to be one of those like almost. It kind of, I don't know. I, it, when I look Disney at this story, ass- it, it, it makes me think of the line, the witch in the wardrobe. One of the, you know, one, uh, she gets uh-huh. taken from a real place and thrown yeah. in this fantasy land and there's an evil queen. Like, and then, and then, you know, there is that whole thing about her, it being a black protagonist. And like, I'm not, not to say that's going to play a huge role in the game. The fact that she's, she's black, but it could. <laughs> Because like they could try to write her as this black character, but you know, and I think the they, 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 didn't they say the writers were was Amy Hennig and Gary Witter or something like that. Yep, I Gary mean, Witter I, from Kind of Funny. Yeah, I think he yeah, wrote he's a, a writer. movie he's, too. He, yeah, 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 he, yeah, he, he wrote, did wrote he, one. He does a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he wrote actual writer. Yeah, so though they're a good writer, so I guess I, I I guess I trust in that, but like. I hope they don't just try to because e- even them that, that who are good writers, when you try to write a black character, it could come off as, you know, very unnatural because you know you, we've seen movies where like it may have a a black protagonist and we're like yo uh, this is this is not how uh, uh, you could tell like uh, okay uh, a person who's never spoken or interacted with black people wrote you know wrote this story yeah. because this doesn't seem like this is not culturally accurate. You know, that's what I'm saying. So I don't know if that'll be a factor, but could be, you know, and then we, we've we seen how bland and barren the world is. She be hopping and skipping everywhere, but the, there's nothing in the world. We've seen, like, I think one town and the gameplay. It could be, you know, game, gameplay could be hit, hit or miss. I don't know. That's why I'm not hyped for it, because out of, out of everything they've shown, I haven't seen anything that made me say, like, oh, this looks like... She's it's, it's her jumping around the Grand Canyon. Like, okay, I, I don't, I haven't seen nothing. Yeah, it feels like a a tech demo, honestly. Um, and what what else is Luminous Productions worked on? Didn't they, they made uh, Fantasy Fifteen, right? Yeah, and people weren't the biggest fan of that. Um, yeah, so I don't know, man. What y'all what y'all think? Excited? Not excited? I have to I see more. Okay. To be honest with you, the moment God of War was announced in November, I was like, that game can get canceled for all I care. Yeah, point. don't nobody really. That's the thing. Don't nobody really care, bro. It is what it is. Seventy dollars, and like like Logan said, if you got a choice, three weeks, you got seventy dollars. Ain't nobody buying Forspoken. Like a, any game coming out around Forspoken, I think if you give it, like I said, I forgot where I said that, but if you give anybody an option, any other game that's coming out, this or Forspoken, they gonna pick the other game. Damn near nine out of ten times. So. Hey, man, Even they up with this game it, dropping in January, I, I I think this game is gonna flop. I really do. I I think they have to show gameplay that gives people confidence because nothing they've shown is like really like a vote of confidence. Nothing. And it's seventy dollars. No. So man. on PC too, it's seventy bucks. What? Yeah, man. Yeah, they got to... um. The, bro, they just got to show something that like literally gives us more confidence in the game. And I think like things could change, you know, because everything has been unstable frame rate. Uh, you know, the game chopped up vertical slices oh, or whatever. The, the corn is it got corny dialogue and shit. Yeah. It, it seems like it's trying to be edgy for no reason. She cursing for no reason. Yeah. <sighs> listen. 
Yeah, I might. Yeah, I might have to. I know demos. You know, take a. You know, take time to make. Y'all might have to put out a demo for this man. Um, I got a PlayStation you can get demos. Uh, that, man. Oh, they'll probably have that two-hour trial if you got yeah, two hours. Oh, okay, perfect. You got to get yeah. on PlayStation Plus the, the main goal. I mean, the main tier. Yeah, you got to pay a hundred fucking dollars a year. <laughs> one hundred twenty bucks. Yeah. Two-hour demo. Extra, extra premium, extra, premium extra, baby. Let's go. Y- y'all go yes, ahead and uh, subscribe to that. Let me and y'all play the demo when it come out. Y'all let me know. That's that's. Nah, I'm just gonna buy the game. <laughs> you know. My condolences. Hey, listen, man. I'm gonna let my game share partner buy this. I ain't buying this shit. No, sir. It it I could be a surprise, one. man. It could be a surprise. What if it's like a sleeper hit? Could be. Like Horizon? Oh, brother. Are you, there you go. Have, like, they, good, strong, nothing good, sleeping good, about Good uh, black female leads. What'd you say? What are some games that have some good black female leads? There's not uh, a lot of games that have black walking games down in general. It's, it's on or two DLC. You got a black character as a lead, I believe. Yeah. Like, Andara, uh, I don't know. I, I hate how they put port- like for example, I'll use wrestling for example. Every black woman, no matter on WWE or AEW, loud, ratchet, you know, you know the stereotypes. I shout out to Jay Cargo, man. Yes, uh, sir. Yeah, we, we can't just have regular people these days. Like every every, every chick in fiction comes from Brooklyn, apparently. <laughs> they want them no. to be exciting and full of energy. Mm. Yeah. If for spoken hey, sell twenty million copies, nigga, I, I'm gonna know some. Nigga, if if for spoken sell twenty million copies, one time I gotta suck my dick, nigga. Facts. Oh my god. <laughs> or one time I got your back, bro. I got your back. It ain't gonna happen. Horizon, so they better buy for spoken. That's all I, I I can see. I <laughs> would hope everybody would buy this game just so you have to be irregular. To, huh? Excuse what? Me? I saw I was everybody Being black is would buy yeah, this damn. game so one time would have to top you off. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> there uh, we go. Listen, I, I could I could see the game selling two million at tops, not twenty. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah. two point five. Two. What you talking about? It, lifetime? You ain't talking about that launch? Oh yeah, lifetime, lifetime. Yeah, what, what um, game were you referring to? For spoken. For spoken. Okay, if, okay. if if it gets a good, if it get, let's say if it gets very average, mediocre reviews, let's say seventy. Let's say it gets a seventy. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna say. 2.5 lifetime maybe hit three eventually yeah, let's, but let's say it get like a at the off chance it gets a high 80 put the, push that to 4 million 4.5 maybe you know i'm gonna say this right i don't think um forspoken is gonna probably sell as much as death loop mm. yeah for, oh, okay that's, okay but that's that death loop though. didn't sell so- so like uh, even with such a high Metacritic score, it didn't sell on PlayStation or PC. Because yeah. gamers saw right well, through that just, bullshit. That's just arcane though. For the first arcane time ever sell. So how come it didn't see through the bullshit of Elden Ring? That's what I'm saying. What's going uh, on? Elden Ring was still you know worth um worth it even though the agree, it's a little bit yeah. it's gonna get game of the year, but it's definitely the easiest Souls game by far and way over on it. Yeah, we we all agree that Elden Ring deserves to be like maybe yep. at a ninety, but what is it ninety seven? I don't even remember. Hold on, I got a question too though about the game of the year shit. If that win games of the year, that gives FromSoft uh two game of the years in the last three years, right? Well, mm-hmm. you got to put them on. And apparently, there's their top. new their new games about done too. So. That's what I'm saying. We got to put them. We got to elevate them on the pedestal of gaming uh, devs at that point, right? I mean, uh, I mean people are being holding them in a high regard, but are they, they two, legendary two game like years platinum years, games? Right. What'd you say? Are they legendary like platinum games? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, listen. I, I, I can put. Crazy, right? I could you put them top that, five, yeah. probably. I mean, you got to put them top five. Maybe, too. I, I might I put them at five. It, yeah. All right, here's what we should do on a on a slow. Whether it's next week on a slow week, we should make developer twos okay mm. s class the a class the b class the c we don't need to go below c do a developer tier list oh bj i know you can bond's gonna make got one every of them xbox up. studio on a d tier turn 10 would be as everybody else would be no, nah, no, nah, you would. Oh, oh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna come up with my. Ooh, we do that next week. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna have no. Wait, wait. Podcast is probably like B A. What a week after next week. 
the next week. week. week, week, week. Right, right. Yeah, well, I yeah, won't be, be here. I'll, I'll get some time to think about that shit. Yeah, yeah I there won't be no week. podcast next week uh, to the Ooh, audience. Just so y'all know. Time? Oh boy. Well, you got yeah, man. Shit. Because <laughs> those COVID. those tear lists, the tear list maker, I could you know it. I could make that, um, and I could see what's already there because somebody probably has something. But like, it's it, it'll just be hard to create the comprehensive list. Um, to, you can't name every de- you can't you know list every developer right because there's a lot but like major we we could do all the major I'm ones. sure they got pre-made ones already though they yeah pre-made ones might be missing some stuff but when but yeah we could do that we could do that um, oh by quality not by you know, oh this developer makes profit they're making yeah. money like it would be so for Activision you should you should do that for a uh, for a Patreon thing make people pay for that kind of content hey addict spitting right now that's crazy. Yeah. You're well, we we wish the best to Forspoken. Okay, hope the best for it. Uh, God of War Ragnarok release date. Finally got it. It's here. It's uh November ninth. No, it's not. Is it ninth? Yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah, okay. Wednesday. November ninth, Wednesday. <laughs> which apparently is because Wednesday is Odin's day. They're trying to be on brand. Um, you know, games aren't usually released during Wednesdays, so um, they pretty much confirmed it's because of Odin's day. And, uh, yeah, it's been long awaited. We, it's a lot of speculation. We finally got it. Uh, I, I, I gotta, gotta ask the question, though. People, you know, Jack, I'm gonna I'm go to you. We are not condoning absolutely not condoning what some weirdo did to that Santa Monica dev what that man sent to her it is horrible terrible and we stand against it um but we got the release date less than a week after so i'm putting you, you on the spot <laughs> did it work uh, I gotta send him a thumbs up. I'm sorry. Uh, either, either, either. I don't know what happened if the the picture was impressive or what. Ha- Listen, a lot of people gave this guy heat. Okay, only thing we know is in less than a week they had the release date ready. All right, so shout out to the dude that sent the dick pic. I just gotta put that out there. Respect, brother. Respect. Oh man. Cause yeah, I, I just you know, just a week ago, uh, Corey was you know tweeting a whole bunch of stuff and saying how. It seemed like he wanted to put out the release date, but couldn't do it yet. And I'm like, what happened between last week and, and, and this week? You know, like, what happened in between those few? It wasn't even a full week. It was like a few days. They, they must have finished developing, man. They must have got into it, like, you know what I mean? Where they were like, okay, we're going to be able to definitely go gold by November 9th. Like, it's a minute locked in. We got over that last hurdle we was trying to figure out. That had to be it, right? So now you know what people are going to do now, right? Stars in the day. <laughs> yep. hey. It worked. They're gonna harass devs a lot more. Yep. Hey, hey man. man. Just it's just want to say it again. We do not condone that. We do not want people doing that. I don't. I, I don't think it was exclusively the developers that. Developers should not be teasing and dangling and hinting like, "Yo, shut up until you tell." Yeah, shut up until you announce it. You pissing people off. Hey, hey, I'm gonna hurt. say this too. We know how to get Blander to come back on the podcast now. Oh, oh my continue, God. Continue. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you wildin'. Um, add it, go ahead. He was saying, um, I don't think it was exclusively that. I think that was like the straw that br- broke the camera's back. They're hey, like, yo. man, we... Oh, yeah, right? yeah, you're wild, wild, wild with these puns. Yo, wild, back. Damn, we were holding like that? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right, I, I, don't think it, I don't think it was exclusively that, but it's it's like you guys said, they, they need to stop with this you know, we're going to hold on to this info. That's why I said on IOP today when they announced uh, that that individual that's coming back to Halo Infinite, I was like, I don't care about none of this shit anymore. I, until you, like, the next info I want to hear come out of 343's mouth is here's the next update with game content. I don't want to hear this dude coming back. I want to hear that dude leaving. Until you show me gameplay, shut your mouth. I feel that. Yeah. That is um, true. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know. Like, now that we got the, the release date, I don't really have much to say about it other than that. I mean, now I want to see more gameplay. I don't either. Shit. Yeah, like, we, don't, I mean, we, don't, we don't know anything. We don't know yeah, anything. Like, we'll, we've been dying for this release date, but now that we got it, I don't got nothing to say. It's like, damn, like, I got, like now I'm kind of mad. Like, yo, I don't got... It's like when you... you know, It's like when you finally... You've been chasing it. You finally get it. It's like, okay. 
That was good. Oh, yeah, when he finally hit and you just said, eh, it wasn't that good. Or, yeah, you know, we play it, the waiting game. Yeah, it's like, damn, okay. It, it would have been good if we got some gameplay wheel. We got a CG trailer, you know. Uh, <laughs> so that point. CG trailer fucking sucked, too. Yo. I hate when they do that. <laughs> I hate them little trailers like that. Yeah, that shit was kind of whack. I'm like, okay, that's it. Like, that, and the announcement was very anticlimactic too, right? Because you remember the, the the state of play was heavily rumored for uh, what was that June mm -hmm. 30th? So we ain't get state of play. We ain't get no mention of a state of play. We get this 30 minute bum ass. I don't know, man. That was we saw weird Fenrir. They, they were just fighting some droggers. That was it, really. Yeah, man, that was kind of crazy it. what they did. I mean, we knew it was coming out this year though because they released mm -hmm. God of War PC this year. Well, I mean, it was supposed to come out last year until nobody hurt his hip, so yeah, ain't no telling. Um, so yeah, um, I, I I want the God of War state of play. That should be fire. You know, they're probably gonna show extended gameplay. I'm I'm sure. What do you but, guys think the odds of this getting delayed are? Oh my God, brother, that 50, would be crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't see it Zero. Fifty yeah, fifty. I don't think I don't think I they think come it's out about 50 date. 50. I don't think they come out with a release date. Yeah, here's the thing. I think I think they they saw like the attention that they were getting. And I think their mindset's like, even if we have to delay it, I'd prefer to get the attention off our devs than them get attacked every week. Mm. If they have to delay it for more than like a week or two I mean, next exactly. time, though, it's going the Twitter's gonna be like it's gonna be way worse. Like if they if they delay it for a week, that's highly possible. I'm a yeah, I can see something like that, but like if they delay it for like a month or two, like well, into next year, bro, they're gonna be on their ass. Bro. I hope it's they don't delay it though, because we need something in these streets, man. It's rough. Like, Wasn't right that now, Sony right? who like delayed Uncharted or The Last of Us 2, even though like when it was like already spoiled? Like, oh, we need to wait till more copies. Yeah, or Last of Us got Uncharted 2 got delayed. I mean, Uncharted 4 got delayed for two weeks too, because they said they ain't have enough physical copies printed. Oh, no, yeah, that was Uncharted, not The Last of Us. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. Well, I mean, Last of Us did get delayed just because that's right when COVID happened and they didn't know about shit. Yeah, they did get, yep. Both of them knew. And then they, my next. How did their shit leak out again? I forgot. Uh, angry, what was it? Angry old developer? Uh, yeah, I think somebody that was working on like that. They said it was a contractor. Yeah. I, think they, I think it wasn't even because the, the rumor was like they weren't paying contractors, but but that was proven that they paid all their contractors. They even paid them overtime. That person it wasn't, wasn't even some, American. I think it was like a Spanish yeah, it, dude. It, it wasn't that. even that they were angry. They just wanted to leak some. It was just a contractor who leaked, you know, a game. That's all it seemed to be. Yeah, he leaked like the most important part of yep. the game. Yep. Did they ever find Tragic. out who it was? I don't know. Nah. I, don't, I don't think so. At least, here's the, at least we didn't. Yeah, maybe here's the next did. question. If if this game does come out this year, which I think there's a good chance it comes out this year, what do you think? Well, what do you think about that video game awards when it's put up against Elden Ring? It's, I think it's going to beat Elden Ring. I, I think Elden Ring's still going to win. It's yeah, I think Elden Ring's still going to win. Bro, I, I was going to say media talk about Elden Ring, bro. Like that shit is crazy. I don't think yeah. I got no shot. Elden Ring is probably going to get DLC announced at the event too. Let Let me ask you this question: <laughs> Like, do you? Do you think it's going to be – what do you think the odds? I think the odds of it being Elden Ring is like 30-70. Well, I'm going to give it a little bit, but I just don't I, I just don't see it. 35-65? Yeah, I think that's – because the, 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 me, the media sees Elden Ring as a game that did something new and innovative, right? Even if you don't feel, feel that way. That's how the yeah. media feels. There's, there's not a game that's necessarily done open world – like this before so that kind of like to me that kind of puts it on lock that elden ring is going to win because even though god of war will be amazing i don't necessarily think god of war is going to do anything like that that's considered revolutionary that's, or you know anything it's just going to be that's crazy better, though because elden you know? ring literally has assets from all the dark souls even some of the blood like it got assets from all the same animation mm -hmm. sounds and, yeah. and it, like bro, but but you also but course, why God of War is not going to win? Why is that? Because there's nothing you can really complain. The Alphabet community can't complain about anything in regards to Elden Ring. Oh, they're going to be complaining about God of War. Why is Thor fat? Why is she black? Where are yeah, they already mad about their black character. Yeah. Why are they vandalizing? Like you know, you already know they're going to have more the, the DL, DLC. It's it's just all bad, bro. Yeah. yeah. You it's think they're going to hack the website? You think they're going to hack the website again? Hack the website. Uh, uh yeah. For the viewers' choice joint, maybe. Shit. Whose gameplay is this? Uh, this one. Not sure. I don't remember. Is this PC version or? 
Uh, so I'm not seeing. Oh no, it has. Well, do the PC version have PlayStation icons? I see PlayStation icons. I don't know. I, I, it, the, it looks like a console version of the game. So probably here. Yeah. Here's my next question. Let's say God of War comes out is good, is real good, but That's Elden Ring still better. beats God of War. I, I, wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Do you, do you think Twitter is going to lose their shit? Oh, absolutely. I, either, I, think, I think either either way it go, Twitter gonna be on fire today. Either way, I, I think I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I think the expectation is for Elden Ring to win, right? There will still there's still gonna be you know and uh, you know this explosion on on twitter you know and dialogue and all that stuff and reaction and stuff like that but i think the bigger explosion is is if it doesn't win because it's it's the favorite you know so you know it's not gonna win what sir a microsoft studios game oh brother and give us a chance what's the last time microsoft studios game won a game of the year it's been a while Oh no! The last one that nominated was the Outer Worlds. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, but even then, was the Outer Worlds Xbox? I thought it was published by someone else. No, they 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 owned them at that time. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah. So yeah, I think like God of War has to, like I said, it has to do something new, which. I don't necessarily. I'm not one of those people who thinks like games have to do something. Is that new. fair I'm, though? I'm, no, I'm, I'm listen. The, that could create a dramatic effect. I don't know, but like I'm not one of those people. You know, there's you know the gamers on Twitter who who think every game has to do some something innovative or it's it's not that great. There are gamers out there. Oh, it doesn't didn't push the the industry forward or revolutionize everything. And I'm like, I don't care if a game really does that. I just care about a game. In, ter- but, in terms of it being a sequel, it just has to be better than the last one. That's what all I care about. PG, you, the, the, the people you're talking about are the same people that think Zelda was the first game that had like a gliding mechanic too, though. So like, them niggas retarded, right? So we you don't know, even... How, how many are we going to see? Just just picture this. How many are we going to see where it's like, this is an amazing game, but it was just more God of War. Oh, yeah, oh you're gonna bro. That. Oh, you're going to see that mm-hmm. for sure. They did that when Uncharted uh, Lost Legacy. They was like, the game is amazing, but it feels like Uncharted. I'm like, motherfuckers are just like, what are we talking about, bro? Well. That's just yeah. stupid, bro. It's 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 gonna get. The, I mean, and yeah, listen, Eld, Elden Ring is at, gameplay wise is absolutely just a Dark Souls game. Like there's, you know, like the, the different thing that Elden Ring did different did differently that people really feel and claim is you know the exploration, right? But combat wise, it's the exact same game, like pretty much. It's the exact same game is is, is Dark Souls. So, you know, um, which is technically fine. Like I said, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with games being the same thing but better. You know, like I, I'm I'm good with that. I like that. I mean, that's that's, that's what they're supposed to be, right? I, I would assume so. It's rare yeah. that you get a game that's fully switch up to like you know 2018 that wasn't no normal shit for a game to totally switch up high play and yeah. be as good as it is so. some people look down upon that and i'm like y- y- y'all are so like i i hate people like that because they're so it- it's like they because they think like a, a sequel is supposed to be dr- dramatically different from the original I, it, it's like i swear y'all niggas think y'all drink tea with y'all pinky out because y'all expect that or, or y'all think that like uh, as an uh, like come on, like shut up bro well, I feel like it got a huge plus for being different when 2018 came out, and I just don't see it getting that same props because, you know, they changed the, the, the formula drastically for, for God of War in 2018, mm-hmm. and I don't, it, it's not going to get that same, no, that, that same energy. This yeah, time. that's true. So that's true. That, that, because, that story's yeah. going to have to be key. That's what's going to matter. That story's key. And, you know, right now they say, well, this is supposed to end the Nordic. Uh, yeah. part, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. so I, i'm a little concerned on that because they haven't even seen odin i don't think so i mean are they not gonna see odin this game like are you gonna kill thor midway through or at the beginning and you fight odin at the end like i'm kind of curious yeah. how they're going to do all and then you got um fin uh what's the chick's name Freya, Freya oh, which oh. clearly you see in the trailers she's mm-hmm. still got beef with you for killing her son so it, it's just like i don't I don't Dumb know broad. what they're going they to squeeze, do. They squeeze. They squeeze. That's what I was te- talking about with Kofi about. They trying to squeeze a lot of story in the one game, right? Mm-hmm. And all the rams you never went to in the original. So it, it's going to be interesting how they handle they it. They said the game is going to be huge. Games. That's what they said. So, like, 
because yeah, maybe the game is is gonna be way bigger, you know, in scope than than, than we expected. Because they gotta fit in all the realms. You know, you're you you know we're gonna fight Thor. I'm I was actually thinking. Thor might be kind of an an earlier boss fight than we expect. He's gonna be the first boss. He's gonna be the first boss. Absolutely. You gotta you get the hammer Thor early the on because that's the new element. Yeah, because they yeah, remember yeah. that they showed they were asleep for them years and then they wake up and Thor's outside. So he's yeah, gonna, be gonna be like the first. Gonna be the first yeah, I think it's just. I think the the, the Thor fight is gonna be like an opening. If if he's matter, gonna be the matter first, matter fact, that's definitely gonna be the opening. Yeah. I, I'm if he's gonna be, if he's gonna be the first, like that. If he if he's gonna be the first, we're not fighting him one time. They There's showed, no they, showed the, they showed the footage in the trailer when he's like, are you a reasonable person? It was exactly what Wonton said at the end of the original God of War when they was outside. Like, it was the same shit. I so. just I just personally feel like for some reason, they're running to rush this story of God of War out the door. Like, I, I feel like with all that's left to go, it would make more sense for like Freya or Thor to be the final boss, most likely like Thor. Then you fight Freya at the end with his hammer. And then Odin gets pissed and you have to fight him in the third one. I'm just a little concerned with connecting all these variables in one game. Then you got the you got the tier storyline, you got the uh the angry boda, I believe that's how you said the that's, that's like Loki. With, yeah. yeah I, I, don't, I don't think bro. Freya is bro. I don't think Freya is really gonna be a focal point like that. Like no, yeah, I think okay. she's, she's going to they they they've so. her in the she trailer. Chased like, yeah, she chased yeah, you yeah, yeah, but but the fact that they put her in the trailer it implies to me yeah she 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 was a focal point in the first game okay she's mad okay she's a dumb broad that's mad i killed her son okay cool story okay like yeah let's show her show that she's still angry she gets her revenge but i don't think she's like this real focal point they're she just gonna show she's angry all the environments around you though she's definitely gonna be a focal i don't point. I, I don't I think, think she's gonna, gonna team up she's up. she's working with odin and thor to kill you that's the whole story they all, all three don't want you I to see that because yeah they, but, they, they she did have a relationship have... But then Odin you have to look at the, the standpoint, like, why the fuck does Odin... I don't know. I mean, doesn't he have to kill all the gods like he did in the first three games? Well, well that's, that's not that's his objective. That's what that, I don't think that's his and objective, Kratos, though. Kratos well, it's not now. Not on it doesn't have right to now. be his objective, but what? I don't know how many Norse gods are there, like, nine or something. You mop off three of them, I'm sure the other six going to want vengeance on you. Well, Warriors, he, done. Well, we know this is the end of, you know... This is the end of it, you know, like like they said. He, so Kratos, Kratos killed Thor's son, and game. he killed uh, Balder. Kratos yeah. is dying in this game or the next game, and it's going to be Atreus. I think it's going to be this game. That's what the, the prophecy fact, said, you know. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be this game just because of how they they they're going. To, I, I think Egyptian after this, yes. and I feel like it's going to be the perspective of of his son. Thing. Well, I don't. I don't know if y'all. It's just a rumor. I don't know if y'all seen it, but the rumor is that this game's gonna have uh, time travel involved. Like, oh, no. um, oh God, I'm definitely so worried now. Yeah. <laughs> basically, they said some shit like Kratos is gonna die, Atreus is gonna go to the future or some shit, and then find a way to save well, Kratos. It's, the, it's, the, it's the, the, the second game too. had time travel too, though, if you remember. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. He went. He went back that's, the past, yeah. That's the they also they so they have a lot to like wrap up with this story. Maybe you know maybe they pull it off really well because they also have to show and that may have to do with the time travel part. We still don't know how Kratos even got here. They like they never explained oh, that part. I would like for them to go back in time and actually we show that. We also don't know the, the world serpent, which is supposed to be Loki's child. Uh, like, how yeah. did that happen? He, he from the there. future. He from the future too. So, you know what they, said? What, they said Thor beat his ass so bad they sent him back yeah. into the past. That's how what he got. What would happen if they Kratos said, died in the first half hour like Joel? Yeah, <laughs> that's Yo, not no, gonna that's, happen. That'd be now. That would be or, the fucking. Hey crazy. Jack, remember remember the first game when that uh the horn went off and they said who blew the horn? The rumor yeah, is that yeah, Atreus, Atreus that. in the future blew the horn. Yeah. That's the rumor. Yeah. Oh, that's the oh. Because, because yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Like I said, we still don't know how Kratos survived that wound and everything. He got dragged. He he either crawled away, dra got dragged away. We know that, but like, I don't think they're gonna talk about that too much. They, bro, if they don't talk about that, uh, that's 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 a big deal to me. Because I I heard that it was explained in a little comic series they had, but I never read. Uh, it. I don't know about that. It's so gonna I, be interesting how they handle this amount of game in one game. A story in one game. And the story will have to be like they 40 hours. Oh, they they the said it's going to be like 40 to 50 hours. Yeah. yeah it's but, the comic, right? so it's a lot bigger than the first one. What did they say in the comics, Derek? Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it's a lot bigger than the first. One. They have to complete they the comics, complete right? Ragnarok first. That's the that's how everything's going to play. Odin doesn't. Yeah. Odin dies because of.
I got yeah, an echo. So, Who's echoing? You got to mute your stream, though. Yeah, you got your stream up. What you say? Um, Did we lose him? Uh, I don't know. You there, buddy? Tarek, no! The, what oh, no, no. Okay, I said Odin has, Odin has a complete Ragnarok. So, like, Odin dies, but in, in, the, in the, the theory, like, the, the mythology and shit. So, he's, him and Thor's fates are connected to, like, how Ragnarok ends. So they can end it in one game based on how Ragnarok goes in like mythology. So it's not too far fetched to say that one game can complete it all because Ragnarok pretty much makes sure everyone dies, and Loki yeah. is the cause of it. So it, they can't get it done in one game. They need to. Yeah. The poor, poor God. Watch Kratos die in the first thirty minutes. You play his son in the rest he's of the game. Not, he's yeah, not. He's not. They're not pulling no last ones, man. They're not doing it, bro. Listen, not doing that, it. the difference is we knew Ellie was gonna be the the main. That wasn't a surprise. Like I, you knew if, if you were surprised it was by that. Imagine if you no, didn't. No, 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 bro. You can literally go back to what? No, no. I, somebody I'm talk, found I'm talk, it. I'm talking about someone else, not uh, not yeah. Ellie. Uh, Abby. Oh. Oh well, like either way. I remember because because I said it I forgot it was like it was like Weapon Wheel three years before what Last of Us two even came out I said I said he was gonna die and we were gonna play as Ellie like pretty early on like I don't think that was a surprise it was probably and 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 the thing is you can't do that game you can't kill off Kratos early gameplay wise anyway uh, he not, I don't think he's gonna die in this game I don't what know. they'll probably do is you'll kill Thor around the beginning to the middle of the game and you'll fight Freya and Odin like back to back at the end. The thing is, Thor has to die by the snake. Him and the snake, a uh, world serpent, has to kill each other, because that's how Thor dies in Ragnarok. So it it. Oh, the problem is though, God of War is more dependent on abilities, and I would say a game like The Last of Us. So mm -hmm. I don't think anybody wants to play like close to halfway through a game, lose all their abilities, and start a whole new character. No, no, that's that's not gonna happen. Because I think, I think he might be the, the saying, main character right? in the next game, though. I think he'd be the but main character. But didn't they say God of War is done after this? They're not trying to make another one? Like, this is it? No, he they, said he was said this is for the Norse. Yeah. The Norse. They're, not, because, are, they're not making a third game in the Norse? In the Norse? No. No, 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 this no, is no, the end no, of the Norse. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. By the time another game come out, though, to make the uh, dude that play Atreus would pr probably be a grown man by then. You know they so said about God of War yeah. 2. He's already like 17. Like right now. That's what I'm saying. He's going to be growing his hair by the time. God of War 2 is going to be the last one when that came out. And then there was a cliffhanger and God of War 3 came out. So they could just be fucking with us. And the, the third one is coming out. Uh, so and, I don't think they're going to do a third and, game. And, and, I mean, they've what? pretty much said that this is the end of North mythology. And the yeah. next one is going to be Egypt. Like, there's a difference between saying we're done with the franchise and being just straight transparent and say this is the last of this uh, mythology. We're going and, somewhere else next. And if we assume we're going to get, you know, uh, Thor's hammer um, as a weapon, right? Most people believe that. I think most of us it assume that. Yeah, it, it makes we, sense. It you know, does not, not make sense. Kratos is not worthy. They, that thing, that might Wait, only no apply. Worth, no worth this chance. In, that might only in, apply yeah. to uh, Marvel. I, I'm not sure if that's in Marvel. actually in Greek yeah, mythology. Yeah. And, and, and to, and to think about mythology. it, man, Kratos has, has dropped so many bodies, man. <laughs> he might force that bitch to be held. <laughs> but and, well, I was saying and, and, uh, that... It, yeah, he and, and yeah, he's a he's a glutton and like yeah, Thor's you a know, piece of shit in the mythology. Yeah. Uh, he's right. The uh, worthiness thing does not exist in Norse mythology. If Because, uh, yeah, I was just saying, if they do give us that as a weapon after assuming after kratos kills him there has to be enough game left for you to upgrade the weapon you know the chance to like use bro, it you can't that shit in like the first hour bro we no nah, i think gonna be the first hour i don't think so i think, so. I, I, I I I think so. you i think you might fight him the first time and you have to like retreat bro, for some reason and you'll fight him a couple hours later the game the gameplay is literally gonna be predicated off of the electric ability because you already got the yeah. ice ability you got the fire ability you need the electric ability i hammer. think I think you get it like maybe thirty five percent into the game, and you got to remember no. the Vanier. Oh. The they got to introduce a new weapon right away. The oh, Vanier's playing in Aether you know. too, so there's another war going on. Because um, what's her what's her name? Freya. She's a queen of the Vanier. So there's a whole bunch of shit going on with that game too. So you might get a Vanier ability because they have like magic mm -hmm. and shit. So that could be a possibility too. Hey, hey Jack, you want to make a bet? What's the bet, brother? Hey, you say what you say in the first hour we get it. Uh yeah, I'll, I'll bet against that. I'll, I'll I'll say it's after the first hour. 
like bro so, I don't, well, okay when, when, winner has to refund god of war oh man we're share partners but but i mean oh that, yeah i mean yeah. I, no I'll put, I'll put i'll put 60 i you know i'll put 60 dollars on the line because you know just paypal nah you. nah you you got you got to go go stronger go home winner has to buy all the games for a year Oh fuck no! Man. That, that's that's like, that's crazy. Crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, I ain't doing I ain't that. that right now. Hold I, I put, Jack, I'll put a I'll put a cool sixty on it, man. That All right, that, cool. And you know, the first hour is like obviously is subjective, but I can see you, you slow walking so we get to an hour and you be like, yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah, so I ain't gonna be a scumbag. What I'm saying is, it's definitely not happening in the, like the first hour in the game is very definitely the the very beginning. So even if it's like the first hour and a half. Or forty five minutes, I'll give that. I'll give that to you. I'll say you won because what I'm saying, I don't think it's happening in the beginning. If it happens or more towards the, as you're getting towards the middle, that's what I. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think is gonna happen. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. I, I just, yeah, I just don't They're see. Them, to... I just don't see that them giving you that weapon that early. That's just me though. BG is about to finesse the shit out of this. No, I'm not. I think I ain't think gonna so? do my man oh, Jack like yeah. that. I'm not he, doing my he, guy he Jack be like, like that. He would be like, well, it took it took it took me five hours to get that point because we're playing on the hardest <laughs> yeah, difficulty. Yeah, you see it, right? We can do it. We can do it based on like averages. Like you could you could like see somebody's uh you know go based on like what everybody else does and and you know the average. What about the percentages of the chapters? Like what all the chapters, the percentage you went through it. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. But like, it'll be very clear what's like the first two hours of the game and that'll be very clear so we'll, we'll see man we'll, we will see i bet you uh, they won't have a jump button and people will complain oh brother uh, yeah you gotta grab her now oh, oh, i can't wait to use the hammer yeah oh what i was gonna yeah. say with it in regards to game of the year like jack said the story has to be really good right really really good and i think the boss fights have to be amazing. And there gotta be enough of them. They gotta be different. Cause that was the biggest flaw in God of War 2018. This, this, these boss fights have to be like on, back on the tear of like God of War 3. I, I think you'll get a couple more boss fights, but I don't think it's gonna be anything drastic we're get, we're like that. Five good ones. We're gonna get Surtur, we're gonna get um, Odin, we're gonna get Ooh, Thor. Ben yeah, Surtur, Surtur's gonna be the, the crazy one. And we're gonna get Hela, probably. Not, we got, well, Fenrir too. The wolf. Hela's that big ass bird. And shit, mm. and um, and Nefelheimers and Helheim, and then you, the have, you have Vanir gods. I don't think we're gonna get trolls and stuff. I think the trolls are done. I, I need, bro. I think I feel like I need, I need like a solid seven because you know they'd be doing the mini bosses. I'm not talking oh, about them. I need seven. a, I need like a solid. What what what? What did you even say? Seven. You freaking you need a solid oh seven. God. What the fuck are you talking Come about? Come on, bro. You that was a reach. That was a reach. I, I need shit, like you a seven. Ain't gonna be doing too much reach. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with you, bro? I need like a solid, good seven or eight, like real bosses, man. Now, what happens if they put certain of those people together? You fight them together. Nah, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to. Like maybe, maybe, and maybe Odin, Odin and Thor versus Freya and uh, Kratos. They team up. Because remember, Freya <laughs> wants to kill. Freya wants to kill Odin too. Like that's also. Yeah, yeah. But Tyrek, you think it's one of those things where it's more. like. Uh, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend type joint. Like they go. Well, remember she she been wanting to kill Odin for a while now because the Aesir Vanir shit. So it's 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 been because remember he enslaved her for like for a long ass time. So she might yeah she might just forget about Kratos and find the opportunity to kill Odin because that's the well that's the best opportunity to kill him. And Kratos presents that shit to her, so she makes she may end up just forgetting about killing him and just go after Odin instead. What's if Frey comes oh. in there and washes Odin like crazy? <laughs> the Here's how we find out um, who the last guy will be. I gotta Google what Norse guys are bold. Oh no! Oh no, my brother. god! That's who Kratos we'll find. is bold. No, no, the Norse guys. That's who we'll find out who the final boss is. Balder was balding a little bit, so I kind of. Oh, I think Odin was bald too. I mean, Insomniac went. No wonder them niggas so angry. <laughs> Insomniac went overboard on the boldness of the Spider-Man games. Facts. Yeah. Was uh, it Paul McGrath's ball too? In infamous. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be seriously it crazy. Ball. If God of War is a phenomenal game and Elden Ring still snatches its lunch money. 
I mean, I I don't think that's crazy though. Like, yeah, I mean, we expect it to be phenomenal, but like, it's not. Listen, if it could be phenomenal, if it's not, you know, revolutionary and groundbreaking or seen as that, it doesn't matter. If it's if it's more God of War and it's great, it's not, still not enough. Somebody says seventh level is the final boss. Well, <laughs> it's a sad Damn. Mm. Yeah. So. Hey, Wonton. Uh, yo. Uh, you want to talk about old buddy being wrong about the release date? Are you talking about snitch? Yeah. Yeah, man. We got he got exposed, man. Was he, he wrong? Out of here. No. Yeah, he was wrong, man. Niggas said it's gonna be on the thirtieth. We're gonna get the, the announcement. It that didn't happen on the thirtieth. It was right. I, I no, I, I think he was right. I think something happened at Sony and changed that. Well, whose fault is it, that? Well, I mean, you can't predict everything. Damn. You a hater, no, 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 That's no, what this no. is about. When I said that, when I said I can't predict everything, and they changed release days, they was on my ass. So I, I believe it. Snitch. I believe because that seemed like they did change. Because like just the reaction from Corey. I mean, even Barlow Jason Schreiber like saying that it was something was supposed to happen today, but it didn't happen. Just say, just say you hate him. You got it right. Okay. He had it in Morse code, so they came out in Morse code. It wasn't like he had the date. I can't stand that motherfucker. Nigga always talking yeah. in codes and shit. Nigga, be up front. Nigga, when is wow. shit coming out? Embrace the hate. Tom, Tom looks at envy. This is the dude I could have been. Post, posting gifts and shit. Wow. What the fuck? Do you want to be him, Wonton? I'm better than him. Oh. I mean, he had a better track record. He'd been doing it half the time. I was upfront and clear about him, sir. I wasn't typing in code and Morse code mm. and shit. Did we mm. really? Wonton, we don't need, we don't have time, but we could go through your, 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 your bad ones. No, no, no. We good, we good, we good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't want that. All right. Um, any more God of War commentary thoughts? Uh, Game of the Year incoming is definitely going to be Elden Ring. And I, did fact, you I, say I, anything about God of War? No, I just came back. I had a package. Are y'all doing Metacritic oh. predictions, or is it too early for Metacritic bet smooth? I'm, I'm, I'm not 91. doing the Metacritic. I, I know people. You know, been the first one got 92. First one got a 94. Mine went down to 93. This yeah, one get 90. a lower score. I can. I, can I, think, one. I, I think, think this one. Five. I think this one gets a ninety. Yeah. I'm yeah. There. Hey man, I I wouldn't be shocked if it went down to an eighty nine. I really wouldn't, you know, because I go say eighty eight or the Horizon score. I, I yeah. Listen, PlayStation games. Um. You know, it, it's just that a lot of these PlayStation games are are really. A lot of these are PlayStation Four games. You know, if we're being honest right yeah um and i think it's like when when uh, when these studios start actually putting out their real ps5 games like their new ips or whatever that are placed in five games i think the 90s will be like the normality again but these playstation you know these PlayStation four games that are dropping on playstation 5 are just going to be high 80s you know but yo your Mm -hmm. your chat someone said 99 Low nineties. <laughs> this is getting a ninety three minimum. Wasn't yeah. this the same energy they they, th- they threw out there for Last of Us Part Two? Like a ninety seven, ninety eight. Remember that shit? Remember what, what is the Last, what of, last, what is the last of Us Part Two? It was a ninety six. I mean, it did get a ninety. It did get a ninety six, but it dropped. And then it and then like two or three review scores dropped that shit down to like a ninety two. Yeah, it did get. It was literally like three, it was three sixties that dropped it down because it had a yeah. ninety six, and then what? Four or five reviews drop it. So what's it scoring out? Hey, what's the name? What's the name of that dude that that uh gave Horizon a low score? That, 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 that. Joe Joe Gilroy. Yeah. I want to know what he's gonna do with God of War. I want to see his score for God of War. He's probably gonna get a low score just to get the attention on him again. It don't well, matter you know, what the score was at the end, man. You guys sit there like, oh, the first 50, 60 scores that had this, so we're gonna give it that. Standards change as the years change, you know. That's that's what happens. So I don't be mad at it. I understand. Yeah, Standards yeah, change, you know. We're about to get another God of War, and Baron still didn't do his bet for the last God of War. Yeah. Hmm. Go have to let yeah, that one go. Yeah, let's though. You, your Baron metrics. said uh, made into three for the one game of the year. Yeah. yeah speaking of uh, Baron, you know he wrestle. Up. He's wrestling Will Scrappy in an official. Yeah, that was funny as hell. <laughs> no, no, he's actually going to wrestle. The yeah, he's got another match with him. Yeah, officially. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, he about to lose that yeah, too. The rock Tragic. bottom. That shit was funny as hell. Tragic. He's start winning. I feel like he's been losing for years at this point. He has. He has. That's unfortunate. 
Yeah. Um, it was crazy. Deal was just you, you, you guys used him as a laughing stock in the gaming uh, YouTube world, and he's a laughing stock in the wrestling world, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, he's got to do his, his time. You know, hopefully, they'll start giving him good st- t- storylines. No, they got to at least give him a dub. <laughs> Wait, he ain't even had a win yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Real quick, want to run through. There was, uh, I know nobody cares about this, but, uh, you know, out of respect, I guess. Nacon Connect 2022, they had a little show. They showed a bunch of games. Some people, I think some people cared about one of these games. Uh, Robocop Rogue City. It's a Robocop that game looks, in, first, right. in, in first person. Uh, yeah, some people some people said it looked all right. I can't I, I can't necessarily say I agree. I, I gotta see I would have to see more. Um, and I was never really like a Robocop fan like that either. You know, like, I only like the first movie. I, I can't I, or some dumb I, shit. I, I can't say I liked any of the movies, so I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. So there was Robocop, there was what else we got here? Um Steel Rising. Yep. Uh, which is a steampunk adventure game starring a deadly ballerina. Okay. Sounds interesting concept. Uh, I'm looking at it now. Doesn't seem doesn't seem too bad actually. So I'm not mad at that. Uh, Ad Infinitum is a psychological horror game. Uh, in in first person it seems. Yeah. Yep. Psychological horror game in first person. So. Check that out. Uh, Crown Wars, The Black Prince is a strategy game, turn-based strategy game set in the times of plagues. Okay. Uh, so we got we got Blood Bowl three. That's a game where a lot of people play on PC. I don't know about a lot of people. I shouldn't say a lot, but people play it on PC. So yeah, Blood Bowl three. <laughs> um, Chef Life. This is a, it's a restaurant simulator. And uh, I thought about a very inappropriate um, gender right. joke for that one. I'm going to leave that alone, right. alone though. Chef Life. Is that, how's the combat in it? I don't think <laughs> there's going to be any combat. <laughs> it should be. That would be. Yeah, that would actually be a good game. You have Chef Life, people jump over the counter. Look, I'm looking at it. You're literally just like <clears throat> chopping carrots, onions, um, tomatoes. I'd rather and... play Overcooked. Yeah, it's it's kind of, it's realistic overcooked. That's literally what it, what it's looking like. Uh, Lords of the Ring, um, Gollum. That Another, looks horrible. That that, yeah, that Gollum looks that fucking just ass. Does not need to happen. Who who's developing that game? Uh, who is it? I just want to know what make, what possessed them to even make that game. Who actually? Oh, no, why no, do they think people want that game? Gollum is interesting character to do it with, but I don't. I think they need an actual good studio to do that game because it looks like the game is on b tier studio and yeah, nikon, know- nikon does like a lot of like their mid-tier games they're like another like you know, like you know how nordic THQ nordic they, they don't they put out like but this is like a a, a level below thq nordic these guys. it's made this by Dada, the data lick D- entertainment yeah the dalek uh entertainment uh, whatever they made let's see what have they made oh they're like a microsoft studio no Th- but they- like from a, from from a publisher standpoint N- uh nikon they like like I said, it's like they're like a tier below THQ Nordic. Like they've a they've made a whole bunch of games that you've never heard of. That's all you need to know. I'm yeah, looking at their is like some yeah. PC bullshit. I'm looking at yeah that. stuff you you wouldn't care about. Like you know, yeah. So that's all you need to know. Um, and also, I know, like I've seen. I, I'm actually about to watch uh, the, the the prequels um, for Lord of the Rings. I've never seen the prequels. I've, of course, I've seen the first three movies. I'm about to watch prequels. Um, and I know he's like an important character, obviously, but I, I ain't trying to play as this dude. I ain't trying to play. This is the, that's the last, that's probably one of the last characters in Lord of the Rings I'm trying to play he, as. He got, in the books, he got a bigger role than he did in the movies. Like in the movie, you see him, like he appears and reappears, but in the books and like The Hobbit, like he's in there a lot more than he than you see him on screen. So if they're taking shit from the book and adapting into the game, I guess that makes sense. But I haven't really like it doesn't look good at all. Because it reminds me of what's the, what's this damn game? It has two games. I actually beat both of them. Where you play as a troll, and uh, sticks. Yeah, the nice, sticks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sticks where you play as like this troll, and it's it's a stealth like assassin game. It reminds me of that. So I ain't trying to play as Gollum. I pass on that. Um, Robin Hood, Gangs of Sherwood. 
is being adapted into a multiplayer adventure. Uh, Paradise Project is a comedic zombie adventure game. Clash Artifacts of, Cha of Chaos is like kind of like a Borderlands game, I guess. Um, Raven's Watch is a storybook roguelike. Um, War Hospital. WRC Generations. Test Drive Unlimited. Solar Crown. Uh a Terminator game apparently and that's it Yeah, I ain't, I ain't trying to spend too much time on all this shit we don't care about we not gonna buy so that was it um, oh and PlayStation is getting uh, ALLM um, auto low latency mode so that's that's cool too uh, you know features coming to the PlayStation 5 not Sorry, one yeah. of these yeah yeah came out um, we're not one of these podcasts that uh, spend 30 minutes talking about features, but spend five minutes talking about games. Stop playing um, Xbox. Uh, that's oh, not, no. that's oh. actually not who I was thinking about. Play, I don't think playing Xbox does that's that. What, that's, what, that's what I was thinking about. Oh, uh, I don't think playing Xbox actually does that. Do y'all do not do that smooth, right? I watch no, playing Xbox. Really. I don't think I don't think y'all do that. But what are you talking about then? Listen, yeah, I, who, I don't, who the fuck are you talking about? I, I ain't trying to be messy. I ain't trying to be messy. So, so hold on, hold on. The other week. I heard all the messiness. Oh, who you want to talk stuff about? But now, yeah, because it's on BG, BG, like I don't want to talk about. Uh, it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep uh, the peace. I'm a peacemaker, right? bro. I'm a peacemaker. All I'm saying BG is, hiding. He, he there, don't want to smoke. There are podcasts Say out there smoke. who literally spend 30, 35 minutes talking about a feature like you know auto low latency or VRR and all this other stuff, right? And it's like, bro, it's like, how how much can you talk about this this feature? Like, cool, features are great, but it, then a game come up, and you you breeze you breeze past that, like like you don't even care about it. I'm like, I, th I thought we were gamers. I didn't know we were feature players. Like, any, but anyway, no, no, that's all. I, that's I all I'm like saying. I still like to know who you're talking about. Hey, man, I'm not I'm not a messy guy. I, I keep it clean here, addict. Nice cap. Not a messy guy. I like to keep the peace, drama free. Speaking of speaking of drama. We got a uh, we got a little bit of time. Um, no more topics. If y'all want to get, if y'all want to hit the bullshit, we we could hit the bullshit. Hey, you just say you was a, hey yo, what the? F hey man, I'm. Who a Kara? Uh, hey, hey, I said Jack. I said I'm not about that. But y'all could be. Y'all could be about that oh, if y'all want. You, you the bitch made one. All right, cool. Oh man. So, yes. Um, there was there was some bullshit that happened this week, uh, involving uh, a Kara. I don't have. I, I know most of the details. I, I think. I'm sure. You know, Jack be in, Jack love drama. He be in the spaces. He probably know more than me. If you don't know, um, Akira is, is a dude in this community who talks way too damn much, right? Like he be he be in spaces. Is he like a yeah? Is he a spaces dude? Because I've never he's heard a, of him. Well, he's Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, he's a spaces dude. He was around here before. Like I've I've seen him like you know tweet and stuff before spaces was was a thing, but he he be in spaces and he he's one of those people who is who are completely ob oblivious um, to when they're talking too much. He'll he'll talk like thirty minutes like thirty minutes straight in a spaces. That's not even him. Like somebody will invite him up to speak and he'll talk for 30 minutes with just no control. Like somebody please shut this man up and, and like stop him from speaking. He's one of those dudes, one of the worst type of people you could have in the spaces. That's really why I hate him, right? What what he did and, and like why he's being like ridiculed, I think him talking too much is, is way bigger of an offense than what he did. But that's just me, right? Well, so what he did he do? He talks too much and he's a liar, right? He got called out because he he like he pretty much was playing the role that like oh i'm this i'm from japanese i'm from japan i'm japanese i have this like you know that's my that's my background i love japanese games i he kind of like kind of portrayed that he knew the language he didn't speak it but he kind of knew it he was frauding right he was he was pretending to be a a race and or an ethnicity you know trying to be a, from a culture that he was not at all and he got called out from it he shut down his after he got called out um he closed his twitter account dude went missing for like a week he what came back he? what is he filipino i think right jack any filipino or something yeah, he claims he's half japanese we half we don't know if he because yeah, he is he lied who knows what he's lying about his name is fucking Clive. He could be fucking <laughs> Clive. Yeah, like I don't yeah. know. Yeah, and, and and you know just the fact that he was you going by the name 
Akira, you know, he was leaning into this shit, this shit, you know, a lot, like really trying to play the role. He was his his life was an RPG, essentially, right? And um yeah, he, he came back, had his spaces. He said, uh, I'm atoning for my sins, you know, said, you know, people could come and, you know, flame me, you know, I'm holding myself accountable and all and all this bullshit and uh Yeah. And and fuckery ensued after after that. Uh yeah, y'all could fill in anything I missed. Y'all got any thoughts? Uh, I just want to say one thing, man. The, I'm actually ashamed of this community more than, so than ever. The fact that this dude has so much clout just simply because y'all thought he was Japanese—that's an indictment on the gaming community in and of itself. What do you think Japanese people would be like? Oh, there's an American. Let's ask him about Call of Duty. Develop. Like they don't give a fuck about that. Why would you care if he was Japanese? Well, because He's still a regular yeah. bum ass nigga at the end of the day. Niggas are getting this. Play. Oh, you were my hero. I can't believe you. You're a hero. People were saying he was his hero. Yeah, they're, they're, they're writing love letters saying, saying how much they brother. they hate that he's gone now, but they know that they have to drop him. Oh, you're my brother and that type of dumb you're shit. My brother, oh, you, say you, you were my hero. I looked up to you, nigga. He's on space. The, is my guy. People were dropping gladiator speeches and shit. I'm like, niggas, like niggas, niggas was talking to him like he was Anakin in, in, in Revenge like of the Sith. Anakin. Yeah. He was the chosen one. Yeah. Type of shit. I'm like, bro, the weeaboo community is fucking horrible, bro. They gotta be extinguished. Every every single fucker one of them. Yeah. I think he said weeaboo. But yeah, he was using he was he was acting pretending to be Japanese for cool points. You know, like uh and it, and it yeah. worked. That's yeah, crazy shit. It works. It's okay, because some people think that like, oh, that makes me different and unique. And you know, like that's literally my identity. The, the dude in the community who's part Japanese, and I get cool points for that. Very weird. Like I I don't care about that. Like I can't believe people like really saw him as like some type of unicorn be because of that. I'm I like, bet, who, who cares? I bet you he was one of those uh, people that since he said he was that, people were like, oh, let's let's bring him on the show when we oh, want to talk oh about God, what's, exactly what's like in oh, Japanese. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. then, then then the call center maestro Caraba came in and was fucking talking and that shit was just stupid, bro. <laughs> call center. Isn't wilding. that where I saw... Um, Don't do that, Deb. Uh... What's his name? Tony come on in there and like yeah. say some crazy stuff. Tony told him off. Uh, it, it's weird because I was listening on and off and Tony went off on him and a whole bunch of people went off on him and he had like guard dogs in there. Like so like when people went off on him, even though he, he said I'm here so people like, you know, could say whatever they want to me. I'm holding myself accountable. You still had people like being his guard dogs and defending him. Like, listen, he he's acknowledging that he that he's do, he did some weird shit, and he's telling people like, listen, y'all can say whatever y'all want to me because you know I may deserve it. And you had people defending him. Like, yeah, yo, Persona, persona came in, and, yeah. and then people were mad at Persona for going in on him, and he made a space so people could go in on him. So what, what the fuck do you want people to do? Yeah, I, it's it's this weird. This dude really, r really tricked the community to like crazy. Yeah, uh, and then because oh yeah, uh, another thing he 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 did before, and I think Luca called him out. Um, he went on 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 Luca's uh, channel before, uh, because Luca called him out about this. You know, he was use he was dropping f bombs and stuff like that, calling people you know f bombs and stuff, and he used that he was Japanese um, as an excuse that he didn't really understand what the word meant and the weight of the word, right? So that clearly wasn't true because English is clearly his, his first language. He, first he knew ex exactly what the, word, what the word meant, but he still used that as an excuse. He used it for cool points. He used it to get away with saying certain things. And bro, my thing is, if you gonna say that stuff, stand on it. Like, that's my thing. Listen, I, people, people know... People know who, who who I am and the stuff I've said, the stuff BG said like ten years ago, six years ago, maybe five, maybe four. Either way, people people know what I've said around here. It, it ain't no shock or surprise, and I don't I don't do it no more because I know I can't. But I'm not gonna you you're never gonna hear me say, oh man, you know like hey. that wasn't me or you know. Listen, I I ain't gonna say it no more. But I I kind of stand on what I said. <laughs> It is what it is. Was this dude a um a content creator or what? No, he was just a Chris Wright, Chris, Wright, no, 
Chris Wright is old, but he said he'll come in and explain it if y'all want him to. Uh, yeah, he, he could come in. Uh, as, as far as I don't think he had a channel. As far as I knew, I think he was a he was a Twitter space hooker. As far as I know, for the most part. What? I mean, at that point, does, does it really yeah. matter? The dude yeah, ain't you making know. content. Like, there, there's well, people who literally space only space be in Twitter space. They're Twitter space hookers. You know, well, he was so. a space hooker, but for like two days straight. I swear to God, like there was it was last summer during the pandemic, so you know everyone was at home. But he, him, and Carabo used to do spaces for like three or four days straight. I'm talking about they would log out, go to sleep. And then that's all we do with spaces. It's like Xbox University. Yeah. Well, Xbox University switched over to a uh, to YouTube, hasn't he? Well, he does both. He does them, some yeah. stuff on there. Yeah, yeah that shit ain't working out for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you know when you make Twitter your own, your your you know main Man, you platform, can't... it doesn't translate over. You know, I, I don't think so. Uh, as yeah, well, if you if you stick with that uh that that spaces man you can get some followers like crazy well you probably have to say some crazy stuff i've only been in a couple of spaces like i was in there a little bit when they first came out but it used it got to the point where people were saying the same shit every spaces and i just got bored of it but man like i, I grew like i think like 400 <laughs> followers in that, that like month i was in there like you don't want to go to crazy. a Nakira space, man. If you don't like to hear people repeat themselves do not go to into a Nakira space my brother yeah and okay like you know? And the thing is, but you you have a you have a YouTube channel, and like people know that's where you're really at. So they not that people are not going to somebody on Twitter that they know from Twitter and necessarily oh going to, going to their YouTube, you know. You after know what that, you should so. do, BG. You what? should you should do a series of a uh, weapon will. It's called like the spaces versus YouTube uh, gaming YouTubers, where you get some spaces people and the YouTube people and have them debate. <laughs> No, brother. I don't even recognize those space Negroes. Give them a platform, BG. Give them a platform. Uh, I mean, the go- right there. I pick out the good I ones. Rec- I don't even recognize them. I, I pick out the the voices that that I you know think have takes that could add to weapon wheel. All right, you pick out the ones that got the most smoke, so people will come in here for the smoke. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same difference. Uh, what's up, Chris? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this Akira, uh, this Akira guy, right? Cause you know, I've talked to him a lot in spaces and shit like that. We're in, you know, a couple group DMs and whatever, but yeah. Um, for as long as I known him, like he, he didn't really say he was Japanese at all. He used to be like a, like a hype man for like cyberpunk and shit like that. Like his name, oh. he, he, he changed a whole bunch of names, right? Like his, the, his first name was like Louis Ablaza, which I think is his real name. Cause that, that sounds more like a fake name, right? Yeah, it just told us real yeah. name. Yeah, no, but that was his name. On, uh, there was his name, on, uh, actual name on Twitter at one point, right? I don't know if that's his real name or not, but because he changed it so much. Then he became Johnny Silverhand, and, you know, he started changing up his uh, name, and he was always going after, like, Xbox, you know, uh, uh, fanboys and stuff like that. And then when people caught him on, like, certain group chats before, like, saying the N-word, and you know what I mean? Like, like oh, they call me King n-word with a hard er um uh you know using the words like japs and stuff like that which was crazy because you know he was saying that he was half japanese but then he was trying to say that that wasn't an offensive word to japanese people and then when people called him out on that he didn't he didn't he uh he didn't um you know corrected himself or whatever then he was using the the uh you know the the uh, gay word i mean yeah the you know the the yeah. slur and stuff like that to gay people um and you know people called him out on that and then his excuse was was like oh it's because i don't know english that well and you know i'm from japan and japanese is you know that's my language and and i just learned uh english about like two years ago or something like that or at the time it was like a year ago or something like that um a little bit uh, which, yeah yeah no that's well i don't no, even no, say no, that he's no, probably no, 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 he, just he, fine no, no i'm he's, talking he, about that if that was true he just learned english that oh. not knowing our slurs would be believable yeah 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 if that was true but it found out that that was a lie because he is from the philippines and one of the native language of the philippines is actually english that's like the second native language so a lot of them do speak english in the philippines and stuff like that um so yeah and then and this whole thing, you know, about people, you know, I, I think it was like right around the time like Japan Studio got closed down, and then you know everybody was was going out to Sony about their efforts in Japan and stuff like that. 
that's when he started like I, I I don't know what it was. Well, he admitted to what it was in the space, right? But essentially, he started saying, you know, uh, uh, living out this fantasy that he's Japanese from Japan because he still says that he's half Japanese. I don't believe him, but he says that his father is or whatnot, and you know, and 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 he was raised in the uh, Philippines or whatever, right? But first, he said he was born and raised in Japan, and then he said, no, I was born in Japan but raised in the Philippines. And then now he says he was never born in Japan at all. You know what I mean? So essentially he was trying to, I guess him saying that he was a Japanese person, I guess he thought that it gave him more validity in his opinions when it comes to JRPGs and Japanese games in Japan and stuff like that. Right. And then he already, then he got exposed last year on his PSN because he was capping for a lot of games that he didn't play for. And his excuse was, well, he started a new account. Um, that I give him the benefit of doubt because when I got my PS4 um, for the first time in 2016, I completely restarted a new account as well too. So I sometimes I give people the, the benefit of the doubt and stuff like that. But come to find out that no, a lot of the games he was hyping up, he didn't play. He told me he played SMT5. He lied about that. Uh, he had he started having this weird obsession with Yoshi P, the producer of Final Fantasy 16 and 14. Right, like every single fucking space, this motherfucker would just bring them up out of nowhere and talk for about thirty minutes and interrupt people and stuff like that. I don't know if you've been in the same space with me and him and BG, but you know I always tell him to like, yo, stop interrupting me all the fucking time. Like, yo, shut up, stop interrupting me. Yeah. He would, like, yeah, he would go, but he will always like aggressively attack Xbox fans, says that they're fake and they're phony. But he was fake and phony the entire time. And then, like, when Optimus Code did that whole space... It'd be the PlayStation remember, people, man. It always yeah, be the PlayStation yeah, people. Yeah, when, when, when Optimus Code held, uh, held that space, um, if I remember, the one where he was talking about the racism within the Xbox community, right? He was one of the main dudes up there talking about, yeah, ever since I got in this community, I, I, I received a whole bunch of racism because I'm Japanese from the Xbox fan. But then you come to find out that he wasn't even Japanese at, at all and shit like that. So eventually, I right? That. I don't even believe that yeah. regardless. Like, I don't see, yeah. like, there's some yeah. Xbox dudes that, that make, like, some jokes towards Japanese developers. But I don't I don't see Xbox dudes like, oh, they hate me because I'm Japanese. I, I don't believe that. I, I wouldn't believe right. that for a second, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, they thing. always say some stupid shit about Japan and borderline racist things all the time about Japan. But um, some of them do, not all of them, but. As, and eventually, right, there's, there's this guy named Genki, right, who, 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 who is half Japanese. He lives in Japan. He's always showing pictures um, of him in Japan in different stores, different gaming stores or whatever. He's always showing, like, the stacks of, like, Xboxes and PlayStation or whatever. Um, you know, he's really about that. He, you know, he speaks the languages and the culture or whatever. And Akira was lying to him. And one time, he started speaking Japanese to Akira, and he said that... Akira couldn't really respond to him, and he said a line from Yakuza, and in, 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 oh, in Japanese brother. or whatever, yeah, right? Can. Come so, on, yeah. So, so Genki, right? Who, who, he's a real nice guy, right? I talked to him in spaces before. Like, he, he's not about beef or drama or anything like that. Like, he knew before anybody else, obviously, because he's really from over there, and you know, he 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 had enough because he, he told him on the DM, he's like, "Yo, stop doing this shit." Like, I know what you're not or whatever. And Akira told him that okay, I'm going to stop or whatever, right? And, and he was, like, apologizing or whatever. And then he kept doing it, and, and they kept finding out. So eventually he had enough. He was like, yo, you can't keep doing this shit because you're, like, you know, it's like cultural appropriation. Like, you're, you're saying you're from where I'm from, but you're truly not and whatever. And so that's when they came out with the statement. And then, you know, like, you know, the whole community got on him. But he had already been exposed months ago by some dude named Toxic, uh, you know, the dude with, the, like, the Animal Crossing avatar, some people know. Um, already, he was already exposed of like all of, all of his game collections or or the games that he would take pictures of that he just got. There were always the Chinese and English version. There were never the Japanese version of the game. They even examined his like his wall socket, and it was like different from like the ones in Japan. And so they did a whole bunch of like investigative shit on him or whatever, and and they exposed him the first time. But people but people didn't believe it at first, and and for a long time I believed he was because to me it's like. That's something that people normally don't lie about. People don't usually don't normally lie about their race yeah, or where they come from. It's kind of crazy like to, to to think yeah, someone's to question lying about that. thing to lie yeah. about. And if you question them, you're gonna look like the asshole. You know what I mean? So you usually don't you usually don't question that shit. But so I believed him for a while, and, and I would take his information and relate to other people and stuff like that. And to it like months ago when I found out Genki wasn't fucking him with him like that, and I, me knowing the nicest guy that Genki is, that's that's when I knew I was like. 
yeah, he's been lying. Then I caught him in lies about games that he plays before and stuff like that. So he was just lying the entire time. And then, you know, and he, and he wasn't really truly sorry. He was sorry that he got caught and that he disappointed people that he calls his friends or some shit like that, right? On here, but... He deleted you know, his he, account he, again? Yeah, he deactivated yeah, he it again. Yeah. Right after yeah, his face. And, and, and he even said that at the time when he was saying all these things, he wasn't sorry, but now that he got caught, now that he is. So <laughs> he was complete full of shit, and it, and it is what it is. It doesn't surprise I got, me. I got two problems with this shit, too, though, Chris, right? Just one problem, he not likable enough to be a pathological liar, right? He wasn't likable <laughs> enough. He can't be doing it. Secondly, <laughs> um, I lost my fucking train of thought. What was I going to say about this goddamn dude, bro? God damn it. Uh, it was about to be some record. slanderous shit though. It wasn't slander, it. man. It's just like I just shit I just, just don't make sense to me. I just don't get yeah. it. You know, like the things people like lie about. It's it'd be the weirdest things, man. I, think, I just I think don't get it. Right though. Oh, go ahead. He never he still has it to this day. I don't give a fuck about this shit anyway, but he's never taken full responsibility either. His his response is always Oh, I, I matured in the past year and the group I was hanging I out with. Yeah, that's all he says. I apologize. It's, it's always about the group he was hanging out with. Like, bro, just if you said it, you said it, who give a fuck? Like, just admit you said it, move the fuck on, bro. You keep blaming these other niggas. We don't even know if they real or not. Like, man, cut it out, bro. He, you know, he read their community, right? Because he knew what the community was on hop onto and latch onto, and he played them for a whole fucking year. That's so true. It, true. Told, it just tells you how stupid the community is for latching onto somebody who don't know what the yeah, fuck just, is. Has he ever even shown? He's never shown a picture of himself. No. Yes, he has. No, multiple oh, times. It? Yeah, and his. I've seen a picture of his kid when he was playing a game. And he is. He. I mean, he is. He is an Asian looking man. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, from, yeah. he's from the Phil- He's from the Philippines. The Philippines right? is technically don't they fall yeah. under a- Asian technically? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 and and they have a mixture of like Latin as well yeah. too, um, in there as well too. But no, he is. He is. That's why. You know, he has shown pictures of himself and his daughter and and and, yeah, and so, his wife and stuff like that. Lying about something so small. Yeah, and and no, they even asked him in the space. I was like, "Yo, does your wife know?" No, he knew like about that? it all. And and he said, he said, <laughs> "Yeah, but you know, we know it was just like an internet thing." And how old and, is he? Blah 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 blah. blah. I have Enough no idea. Have a child. I, I think it's, I think he's in like his early twenties or something like that. God, he's doing so you weirdos. Know, you, know, you know, it's crazy. It is uh. <laughs> He knew he could come on, on in this community and say whatever he wanted as long as he yeah, teamed man. up with those PlayStation fanboys. They back. Don't put this on us, Eric. Don't put this on us. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but I mean, look at And there were like, some people you know, that was about to accept that man right back into the community and say, you know, you, Weirdos. just be, just be yeah. you. Just be you, Akira. We love you, baby. Even, let's no, talk about it. Like, no, I'm not saying know, everybody. I'm not saying everybody. There, there's definitely a lot of people that, that held him accountability and ripped him a new one. But yeah. the fact that there were some people out there that said, oh, I'm glad to have you back. Ooh. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. We can just go back to business as usual. We don't care what you said. Listen, we don't care that you lied. There's people it, that have done, like, crazy shit, and they still, like, would let back. Like, like people still like people still talk to and, and with JTEC and follow JTEC and stuff like that. But like, man, for, yeah, you know what I mean? Video. Like, like there, there, uh, uh, oh the Dr. Mindbender dude, right? He's still in the spaces. People let him speak. It's like, there's... You know, there's people like there's people that say all sorts of crazy ass shit, and and they still get accepted by certain people in the community and whatnot. So I, I wouldn't like honestly, I, it wouldn't surprise me if he came back and he He'll still be back. the same amount of following. And you know, people no, you, are just like, oh, they'll whatever. just reactivate it's, it's, it's that right. account, and have all yeah. six thousand people back. He's you know, got way too big of an ego to stay away. Uh, let's be yeah, real here. Yeah, he, he got, got like five k. Yeah, like five k. He got, he got, he got more he, followers than me, and he right. don't do anything. He That's don't what do I don't a understand, damn thing, Jack. Like, like, yo, people, yeah. people are he got so more followers than me too. That's what I'm saying. Like, he doesn't do anything. He, he doesn't. He doesn't make content. He doesn't. He don't got a channel, right, Chris? No, he don't got anything. No, I'm he, telling you, no, you guys, no, he, no, you no, guys no, don't realize. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just like, just like, just like, you know, Xbox University does a lot of. The, the 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 fanboy war stuff and he gets a lot of followers. Akira was doing a lot of fanboy war shit and that's why well, he got a lot of followers. Well, it's not even, it's not even that deep. It's not I even, even like Rooney, but he does have a YouTube channel. It, it's not even that deep. It's like I told you, like those spaces get you so many followers. It's unreal. See, I yeah, that even, is true. I I usually walk away with a. But few I can even it. at least understand why University has followers. 
At least I he can't. entertained him. Like. Exactly. At least he be saying, you know, like, you know at who, least he, who be he is. My, at least he be entertaining to a point. Yeah, though. you know who he is and, and, and the conversation he brings. And whether or not you agree with him, that still has some value. All Akira does is just talk and it don't even be that he doesn't even have real opinions yeah that's what that's what really bothered me about him because i've listened to him go on in like these these really slow like rants like he's on some type of downer right and he don't be saying nothing you ask yeah. him about his opinion on a game you, you know it, it's always the, the the neutral the neutral take yeah, you know, he's always trying to hit that, that the, the safe answer. That, he's got to make yeah. the safe he's answer. Out there hitting that like, word. Yeah, it's the safe answer. Like you don't really know anything about the game. Oh, I, I think the game is great. I think it's okay. I think it has value. I think uh, I think Fact. it's great. Hey. I think it's great. I think it has value. I think people like it. He's uh, gonna say it for like thirty he, minutes. He, he says like, it over and over again. Minutes, bro. He says yeah, it over and him. over again, bro. Bro, I always yell at him because I be I be in the middle of saying something, right? And then he would just cut me off and be like, yeah, but Yoshi P, I'm, y'all be like, Akira, shut up and let me finish what I'm saying, I was saying, wondering bro, like, he kept talking about Yoshi P. I didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. He was like, yeah, oh, man, you have to really praise yo, Yoshi P, man. He's so good. He had man. a Yoshi weird, P. he had some weird obsession with him. He would bring him up every space and come to find out he, do, he doesn't even play Final Fantasy XIV. So I'm about to say, do you even know who old buddy is for real? Yeah, like, yeah so guys, yeah, so, real let this man finesse you. I'm saying, bro, that's crazy. Let yeah, this man yeah, because, ah, uh. yeah, oh, man. Man. yeah, but yeah. Eventually, eventually, but th- that's the thing is like eventually everybody get like when when you're like this and you're completely fake, eventually you're yeah, gonna get close. caught all the time like that like that pie samurai chick she just got caught <laughs> you know what I mean like yeah, like, yeah like, who is yeah. that I don't even know who that is. Uh, that was another catfish oh, you know uh, oh, PlayStation oh, fan oh, girl oh, PlayStation fan girl. That got a lot of followers because she was a PlayStation fan girl. Yeah, she had she or, had or, almost or he, like fifty eight hundred. It was he, 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 he. It he was, was it was a brother. It was a brother who yeah, photoshopped brother. photos of his sister using a face swap app. <laughs> he photo, fil- he, no no no. You know what he did? He he did that filter. You know that filter that 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 the, the that cartoon filter. character. Yeah, but no, there was no, no, other. No 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 no. Well, I mean, she was like an animated character. No 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 no. The one that makes you look, the one that makes you look like a, a doom, uh, like a girl, right? The picture that you know, the female version it of, of, of a guy. It softens up your face and it's so, bright. Yes, and yes. That, yeah. He 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 did that and put his the female version of, of himself on his sister's face. Man, what the fuck going yeah. on, bro? Oh man. Did to Jack that one time. Hey, this is weird. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember that? They did, uh, they did that to me too. They the weirdos hey, in the look, Discord. Look, let, let's be real here. Like a lot of these people do this shit because it's mad easy to grow. Like attacking one side and one side only. Especially if you're a woman doing it, you are gonna get them followers like it's crazy. Age, 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 age. I remember age, that one. Who was who was the guy who came, came out there and said the there was nothing more attractive than a than a, war, a woman council warren? Who I forget oh who said God. that. <laughs> Uh, and hey, that was hey, with hey. the that was with the Marlis chick. Oh, hey man. Jack, you wanna you wanna like pack it up, move to another uh, community on Twitter? Because I mean, is, we might need to, brother. We might it's need. Crazy. To. Yeah, but Jack, Jack no longer. That's why Jack disowned the Pony Commissioner. He no longer calls himself the Pony Commissioner. Look how my ponies <laughs> acting, man. Y'all got me just, you know what I mean? Me uh, I hear the sneaker there. community is just as toxic, but I don't think it's as bad. Oh, the sneaker, the sneaker community is fucking insane. That, that should be funny. Are, they're really donkeys, man. They're not really fucking ponies. Oh, That's man. what I'm saying, bro. This is crazy, man. I, yeah. you know, there's been Xbox people done some crazy shit, but not, not, not inventing. Oh, y'all ain't innocent, man. Hold on, we, yeah, we ain't innocent, innocent but right. yeah, I, I don't, don't know, know about don't know say like Xbox... don't got the the track record of catfishing on every other week. Yeah, that catfishing shit. That's some nut. That's it's, 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 it's just a, they just pull guns out. That's all they do. Yeah, they pull guns out, or they get sued by uh, like for fifty grand, like that one dude in Brazil. For, for some threatening journey. Are you talking about me? Um, yeah, Migra, yeah, Migra, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's it just exposes because you know I don't even like with this situation with Akira. I definitely I, I put this on Akira, but it, it is you know the the community fault also. But I put even more of the community community's fault on um like the catfish stuff because it's thirsty dudes they see a what appears to be yeah. a woman 
like the woman isn't offering you nothing like they they don't have gaming takes they they don't have content they don't make anything it's a woman they think it's a woman and they're and they're they seem to be involved in a console war i don't know why that combination infatuates dude so much i don't understand it if for me if anything it just makes me more skeptical of you and i don't, I don't even want to follow you it probably it probably gives a lot of these dudes hope that they're gonna find so oh this chick's about to smoke I, I I think I think I found it. I think I found the one now. You really it's think they're trying so to weird. get like relationships off this shit? I, I, I don't, don't know, know. But you I don't know. Like everybody wants, wants to be Shokyo. Who? Sh I, I didn't get that. Shokyo yeah, is a, is a yeah. Nia. <laughs> Shokyo consistently be pulling chicks off of Twitter. Yeah, he 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 like be bagging um chicks at like uh events and uh tournaments and you know all the expos like he. That's where Shokyo gets all his girlfriends. Be making like full on girlfriends from like stuff like that and on Twitter. But like they they really be women. That's the difference. <laughs> like the the ones Shokyo be getting, they they actually be women. These dudes just be falling for catfishes. It's and, it's tragic. And people know like and they people go as girls with these fanboy accounts because they know people are a little reluctant reluctant to go after like females. And where will um, be your ass move? And they'll sit there and the, be like the defenders of them. And then the girl, they sit the there and be like, there's no way that it could be a cat. Nose. What, what was, was it? Her, her nose that you went after. She got mad. No, I thought it was her feet. Like, it was her feet. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Marlon went after someone of her Everybody feet. Everybody needed to apologize to Smooth. for. It, it's smooth to apologize. I was like, I don't know why you did that. Like, I don't think he should have apologized. I I my know. wife made me do it. Uh, Damn. I, mean, I, I can feel that. I can feel that. I can do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. So that, but yeah, nah, that's what happens. It's like I've because I find because there's a lot of them, you know, that that's <laughs> like there's a lot of like you know, females and, and fake females that's on there get involved in the console war, they get on the side of PlayStation, they they get to talk their shit. They know people aren't gonna the, the guy a lot because most fanboys are guys, they're not gonna really go at them as hard. And if they no. do, they got the backing of these crazy ass. Not um, it, now, smooth. I was pretending that, to, I, I was told that there's no such thing as being a privileged woman that all women were oppressed and yet they get all this free attention for being sense. being a yeah. chick on twitter to covering like this console war stuff being a chick you, you're everywhere. you you're no i, I, I oh, okay, i'm talking about this bond not everything you you they're these these console war dudes are more they they're more uh, the odds thirsty. of them thirsty. it's not even it's that it is. yeah it, it's thirsty like they're, they're gonna pop up in your dms before they before they try to bash you on twitter and that, that's just how it is like it's it's sad it really is like uh that's the reason like a lot because there are real chicks out there that actually do content do what they're supposed to and they get overlooked by these these uh these dudes that are that are pretending to be chicks on twitter that's then didn't one of them like start a only fans and everything like yeah that was a that was a marvelous she stole and she oh, yeah, got exposed like, because she stole other people's photos off of twitter girl jay barry was simple <laughs> The the fact oh, is man. not my the, boy Jay Bar. Oh, the, absolutely not my boy. The fact is, bro, women don't console war. That's just, I'm sorry, that's just a plain old facts. If you see yeah, a woman yeah. console warring, that's not a woman. I'm sorry, yeah. they just don't do it. Like even they fight even, over other shit. They don't fight over games. Like even even Luca, she doesn't console war. She talks about like games and she's very opinionated, but she doesn't console war. You know what I'm she saying? Like, she is an X spot though. She is an X Yeah, but she still there. doesn't. She still doesn't console war. And like even like other like I follow a bunch of like girls in the community, bro. They they may be very pro something, right? But they they don't be like super anti the other. Oh, thing. I, I, I've seen a couple of PC chicks that go pretty ham. They don't. Oh, be Jordan, what's her name? Jordan. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, you you it, yeah, you said it. Yeah, no, but that is true because um. Because every every single hardcore uh, fan girl, right, that consoles war, every single one of them have been catfish so far. All mm. of them have been catfishes so far, and so yeah, that is true. Right. Like most most females don't they don't really be on that console war time like that. Yeah, they're Attic, pro something, all, but you know, it's all love it. and thunder, right, Attic? Yeah. Who paid for that? I did. Exactly. Why? <laughs> oh brother, <laughs> Bud is always <laughs> on to onto something, dog. Exactly. Now what 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 happens to she pay for? What was you gonna say? We that I, I, that was gonna be a clown on me instead of nah, instead of defending I, I was, your I would say, I would say, I would say huh? 
I mean, I, I get it. Like society does demand that happen. Like I'm not gonna deny that. And like, and me as as being raised the way I was, I feel a way if I don't pay for something. So, all right. Well, hey man. Um, he, listen, y'all be on. We might need. We might need to like put together a neighborhood watch for this. <laughs> for, for like these these oh, frauds, man. Gatekeep your circles, man. Gatekeep your gaming yo, circles. Absolutely. Yo, we can't even get these dudes on camera or to show their gamer tags. Did anybody gamer tag check the person? They don't ever put them out. They're women. Yeah, no one asked. Frowned upon, it's, it's frowned upon to put your game. I think. I think people who have never shown their face. I. Th- I. Th- I think we just should assume hey, that they're you know frauds what? until proven otherwise. Shout well, out yeah, but you had that marvelous out. person though that that did sh- quote unquote show their face. That's true to too. Prove yeah. a point. Shout so it's like you can't Jimmy. even believe that. Shout out uh, to Jimmy. No face, no case. Yeah, I, I think. Real I think ID some shit. Yeah, I think with women you got to have even higher standards. Like if if they don't, if it doesn't seem authentic, because like listen, like Luca could have never shown her face, but like you can tell, bro. It's not hard to judge somebody's character and see if they're fake or not, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's it's very because like this Akira, I just never believed him. I, I never believed him. It's not hard to tell people who are fake or like real, because like you could you can just tell, bro. You know, I think yeah, you can just a lot tell. Of, but to be honest with you, BG, a lot of these people cap for games they don't know anything about. They'll sit there. They'll be like a hardcore Xbox dude capping for Final Fantasy, but they don't even know who Zack is. So it, it's just like, I yeah, I personally feel like just to not give these people the energy. Like, because yeah. the moment you start like talking about them, like we've talked about this dude for like what? 30 minutes it's 30 minutes that we talked about him for uh, in front of 600 people fire no <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, so so newsweek yeah yo man, i'm gonna hop out man yeah take it easy. all right man yeah that's hey, it, man, man we had three members of planet xbox on here man what the fuck going on today hey man yeah, I'm, I'm i'm all about togetherness bring, I'm bring not. the community together <laughs> hey, man. um yeah so that's it that's everything uh from this week so we can go ahead and pack it on up man um i gotta get the super chats ready Fuck. yeah oh uh, yeah hit them super chats that was that was all that happened this week there is no weapon will podcast next week yeah um, so gotta find some other entertainment for y'all monday i guess hey man you just just watch one of the many watch one well, of the so many the, xbox Smooth podcasts that i podcast watch monday oh there you go oh, there you go there you go Sorry, what, yeah. Is there any uh, are we, are we reason doing it why you did school? that? Yeah, my wife's uh, work schedule just kind of got chaotic, so it's like I had to either move it to Monday or Saturday, uh, or I got to move my whole entire gaming setup to a different room. Damn. Are we doing it? Are we doing it next, like tomorrow Monday, or are we put waiting a week? No, it'll be August first when we do it. That's okay. when it'll start. Oh, oh, we start on oh, no, August. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm loading up the super chats here. Why are you loading up the super chat? I got. I'm trying to get rid of this um, uh, this monitor, dude. Um, the one you dropped fourteen hundred on. Nah, nah. How do you you say Oris? It's Oris, Oris, right? The Oris one. Yeah. I'm so pissed off that I spent fifteen hundred because three days later it went on sale on Amazon for a a, a thousand, bro. That's crazy. You know they not yeah they don't price match it if they already shipped it to you. That's bullshit. My Yo, TV same shit happened with my TV. Bro, I'm mad about the, the LG. Bro, I have a I have an LG C one. I told people I bought I have an LG C one. I've had it for a year. You can check the 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 runtime on your TV, like how many hours you've actually had it on. In a year, I've used it less than 300 hours, which is crazy. Yeah. Right. I put it up, put it up on some different spots to sell. Bro, I put it up for like I think 900 the first time. Broken. No, it's per- bro. I've used it less than three hundred hours. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. Um, I I put it up on for like nine hundred the first time, right? And then I and then the price dropped to the new price retail dropped to like a thousand. Then I lowered the price again. I checked Amazon. That joint. I think that joint hit like seven hundred. Yeah, I was yeah. like, bro. Yeah, the C two is coming out. Actually, C two got released like, released next week. So I just bought my C one. It ain't it ain't no damn seven hundred. I just bought my. No, I think week. it was a sale. I think it was like a temporary sale. It might have went no, back it, up, bro. It, it hit hit like the, they're trying to clear stock out because the C two is coming out. So you kind of waited at the wrong time to do it. So you probably could wait after the C two comes out and they'll boost the price back up to MSRP. 
But yeah, right now is not a good time to sell that shit. Because I bought it for, I think I bought it for fourteen hundred. That's why I put it at nine hundred originally. But then yeah. you know it keeps dropping. So, well, right now it's a thousand bucks. I got it, I got mine for uh, nine hundred because I have price matched from Micro Center. Uh, All right, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Smith, are you get on Xbox or are you gonna stay for right. After Dark? Yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit angry. I had to run to Cold Stone before they close to get those Nintendo ice creams. Huh? So, what the hell? Wait, what? Nintendo ice cream. Yeah, they got some uh, Nintendo inspired. They got like um Mario, um Animal Planet, and somebody. Uh, not in not Animal Planet. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Crossing. Better I mean, be there's another one. Better uh, ice cream sandwiches or those? No, they're like just they're they're like they're like they're thing. They look good as hell. Look, I'm like I've been better. Better be putting that on your TikTok smooth. That shit mm. blows up on TikTok. You got you got him ready, Jack. <clears throat> yes, I do. Uh, uh, like, I actually, I'm gonna wait for it. Oh god, keep just What's super the chats. Ice cream? Super chats. <laughs> All right, super chats. Uh, we got Alex PSX. He says, We're roasting the Kira today, just making sure. We got your brother. Um, Andrew Wilkins. When the Xbox and Addict gonna admit they clown David is what? That clown David is constantly wrong. He said PS5 wouldn't be backwards compatible with PS4. Said God of War wouldn't release this year. Also said PlayStation fans don't buy games. I think you're talking about King David. Well, that that that's why we're doing podcasts and he's watching podcasts. So. Oh, I thought he's talking about David Woo! Jaffe. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, okay. Go All right. We got Black Hawk the Blood Edge. It says can't watch live, so dropping by to support. Also, BG, you hear RE4 remake is removing Krauser. What? Wait, no, what? you're lying. No way. You're lying. That would be kind of weird. He hold on. That's one of the best. Let me see. Let me look this up. Continue, Removing Jack. What? All right, we got we got we got Moody Blues. He says, "Hey guys, love the podcast. Just wanted to request Jack move to do an impersonation of the meme. What the dog doing? Much love from Australia. I know what meme is that? What the dog doing? No hey, idea. Australia, who knows? <laughs> what the dog doing, mate? I don't I don't I don't know that. I'm gonna look that meme up and do it next week. Uh, let's see here. We got. King of Games 405. He said, do y'all think Gotham Knights will be a success? No. 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 Um, we Whoa, got a... Hold on. Critically or commercially? Both. He just... I don't think it's going to be a success either way, to be honest. Yeah. Um, We got Serial Mint 23. Why Jazzy sound like he need to blow his nose? Come on, man. Don't say that, man. Fuck you. This is Jack. <laughs> the, the, the only source of of this rumor is a, is a, is just a random YouTube video, like all Reddit saying it's not verified. There's no real source saying that Krauser is going to be There'll be no reason to remove Krauser though. Yeah, I, yeah, I never so. played that game. Is he like a big part of the game? Or? It's no, not really. He's, he's a, a huge boss. What? what? Story wise, he wanted he wanted the boss fight towards the end. I mean, I played it. Story wise, he's not major. Story wise, he's not major to four, but it's a it's a really big boss fight. It's a really good boss fight. All right, we got Neo Wise. He says the new director of God of War's gameplay first. Um, we saw it in the first God of War reveal, which was gameplay. I think this is going to be an epic. It's going to be epic, to be honest. We hope so. We got OBJ Junior. He says Xbox University flying to Portugal to try a Glizzy. Oh uh, yeah, I think he got catfish. Oh mode, man, dude. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he ends up with some uh, irregular. I don't even know you want to call him that. All right, we got Earl Walker. He says, "Make Alex a member of the squad. He is funny as fuck." All right, we got Tavares Perry. He said, "Everything Disney touches turns into Dookie. They should have never split Phase Four into shows and movies." He's spitting oh, right man. now. We got Earl Walker again. He said, "The boys versus the Inf- the Infinity Avengers. Who wins?" The Avengers, actually. Huh. Homelander is wait the Infinity pretty... War Avengers. Yeah, that's what he said. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Soldier Boy was throwing hands at Homelander, so I feel yeah, like I the Hulk. Like, I feel, yeah, yeah, me, me I feel like yeah, the Soulja Hulk Boy, and Homelander they won in that shit. I'm sorry. I feel like the Hulk and Thor would fuck up all of them. We got Brutus who oh. donated but didn't leave a message. We appreciate it. Let me refresh it. Damn, I'm light week on the super chest, man. What happened? Y'all didn't get paid this week? Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas bucking out there. Hold on. We oh, got, man, we we got, got one Muck. from Baron. Go ahead. Y'all see one from Baron. We got one from Muck45. It said, Y'all thirst, uh, y'all thirst boy, Xbox Unity got gotta catch the uh the catfish. Yeah, man. We saw that. 
And finally, we got Emperor Baron Black. He says, who wants to make a bet that God or Ragnarok will have a lower Metacritic score than Bayonetta? Nobody. Switch gang, um, bow to your Emperor, oh, no. the gospel. Nobody's Bear, making Bear, a come bet in here. with his broke ass. <laughs> he can't even pay off the bets he's lost. I actually do have a bet about God of War and Bayonetta Metacritic scores, actually, with uh, Ford. Is Bayonetta ever going to come out? Bet. That's another thing. That's they trying to know. They what the hell is one that? time in like three years, bro. Baron should have to donate forty more dollars just to cover that bet he made with BG. <laughs> um, that God of War Ragnarok will have a lower Metacritic. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if that happened necessarily. I don't think it's going to happen, but I wouldn't be shocked. But at the, end, at, the, but at the end of the day, listen, Baron. I'm, I'm Baron. I'm sorry to tell you, you and about two other Nintendo fans care about Bayonetta. You like. Baron, nobody on like like the Nintendo fan base does not give a flying like crap about that game. I'm sorry, you're on like a hill with few other people about Bayonetta. E- even if that game was on like multi plat, not a lot of people would be would care about it. You know, I know you love it and I appreciate that that Baron, but uh, nobody cares about that that Bayonetta game, bro. Nobody cares. These are facts. Yeah. Um. You know. So. That's that's about it, uh, you know. Unless Baron wants to come in here and defend the honor of uh, Bayonetta. What's her real name? Oh, her real name is Bayonetta. What's her what a crazy question? <laughs> what a crazy question. Uh, yeah, um, forgot a name for a second. Like Baron defend his honor to get a goddamn win. Yep. One step at a time, bro. One step at I a mean, time. If this thing gets put to sleep a little scrappy. He needs to retire. <laughs> I'm trying to get, I mean, the match is happening in Atlanta. I've already spoken a hard eight. I'm like, yo, you need to go to this match, videotape it from ringside, and then make a video on it. Oh, my God. That oh, would man. be the best video of all yo, time. Yo, what the fuck going on? Yeah, I can see it right now. I mean, yeah, man. Fuckery. He still got me blocked on Twitter. As he should. Baron, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well. That's that's the show, guys. We will not catch y'all next week because we won't be here, but we'll catch y'all the week after that. So going to After Dark. Let's do these outros really quick, Bond. I was going to say, I'm good. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Hit that like button. We'll catch you guys next week. All right, Jack. Uh, good podcast this week, man. Shout out to all the guests. Shout out to all the viewers. And we out. Peace. Jazzy. All right, forget you, you Jazzy. By the end of this month, brother. <laughs> Jazzy's a funny guy. Digimon. Like, no way. Jazzy, There's already niggas waiting in the after dark. Digital monsters. Are those games actually good, or are you just a Digimon fan, Jazzy? Let's be real. No, I'm not. I'm actually legitimately like an actual Digimon fan, and I actually played the games that they've done. Yo, you wild. Who the fuck just said that? That was crazy. Oh man, uh, smooth. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out my video I just dropped. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. I'll probably have some content out uh, over the week since there's no weapon wheel and shit like that. So. Um, yeah. See you after dark. Logan, appreciate you coming through, man. No, oh, thanks for having me, BG. Yeah, I, I just want to say, I, I like to give people their credit. You know, I'm a good guy. I give people their flowers. You're actually one of the best, one of the better parts of, of Planet Xbox, sir. I, I just want to <laughs> let you moment, know that. Because uh, if, if, you know, if Smooth ever, you know, doesn't show you any, appreci- any, any real appreciation, you know your value, because I just told you. You know, well, thank you. Shout out to Nick Bank. Shout out to what's up, the buddy? Yeah. Because listen, I'm I'm not gonna say no names, but there's some certain people on on Planet Xbox. Move need to throw away. Okay, they gotta get out of there. Okay, I'm not gonna say no names specifically because I'm I'm not a messy dude. Um, there's certain there are certain great members of Planet Xbox, but there are some terrible so, ones. So so great you don't want to say him on the podcast. Oh, God. Hey, so Ooh, I, I'm, what's I'm the not gonna say who's who. I don't, I don't, I don't have a bet for that. I'm, I don't feel, feel safe betting. On, it's, like, it's been two know. weeks since we made a bet. We're off next week. I'll be a full, 
Come on, man. We supposed to be doing one better week. Go, we'll do it in do it in after dark. Uh, Wonton. Yeah, man. Glad to be here, even though I wasn't invited, man. Um, yeah, man. That's it, man. Shout out to yo, you, Wonton. What if we get a song, yo? I'm trying. I'm trying to collab. Man, man. That's what I'm, hey, smooth. Tape two on the way. Yeah, we doing Jiggy Tape Two Smooth. We got a track for you, dog. Hmm. Okay. All right. It's called retarded. You ready, smooth? <laughs> We're going to. Uh, <laughs> <we're going, laughs> do, bro? We 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 go into after dark. We'll we'll get no, Chris. You one of the good ones. You you are one. Of, I wasn't talking about you, Chris. Of course, you know. I, I I did say the thing I did say about Chris is like you're you're a little bit too logical of a of a PlayStation fan. I think Planet Xbox needs like an extremist, like an extreme. You like 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 I said. You know how kids move. Planet Xbox needs kids smooth's version of a PlayStation fan on there. <laughs> very unstable, very wild and out of control. You know, that they need that, you know, you're kind of, you're pretty grounded. You're a pretty grounded dude. You, you, you know, good addition to Planet Xbox, though. But, um, you're not who I was talking about. So, yeah, y'all can speculate on who y'all think it is or who y'all Ain't think many they left. Are, who you think they are? Not many left. There's only four. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. You just, just, just did a 50 50 on it. Hey, y'all being messy. Y'all being messy. Like, can y'all please be better than this? Can y'all please be better? Like, there's no need, no need to single people out. Y'all wildin'. Hey, we didn't bring this up. Hey, we, we go, we out, man. We catch y'all in two weeks. Boy, BG. Right. Right. <laughs> plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You can run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. Nah. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. Damon a scoping. All black panel. You can never try playing us token. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at real. all. <laughs> oh, wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies. Damn. God in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? How? So kids move to body you in Halo. Then send your family an angel emoji. Damn. Ooh. Should've known, dog. You ain't got enough Series Best X's. Blind got all the answers. No, you ain't gotta ask Siri questions. Not. All the latest gaming news gotta be here to check it. Yeah. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it. Woo. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing. Woo. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate. Nah. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message. Yeah. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct like plenty of fell. You can run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Right. I know what it is, man. Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man. We got BG. We got Care Smooth, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean. Blandrew, I mean, what you. You can't all strafe us, bro. Like, the strafe too strong. <laughs>